people say i'll post them up here okay we're live all right today we got john vargas he's gonna talk to us about his um his setup and parties what's going on john yes sir all good all good so yes i wanted to touch up on uh airbrush events uh t-shirts we've all seen t-shirts uh but events is something that a lot of people don't know and and finally some airbrush artists that make them way into events finally there is no guidebook so you know you technically have to go off by whatever you see out in the internet so since there's no book for this why not great community your podcast is perfect brings the community together so as you can see i have no setup yeah so i wanted to take this time and show my mobile station and this is what i roll up with when i go to events and he actually has wheels see it looks like a briefcase yeah and and he pops off this is this suitcase is from shortcuts shortcuts.com uh it's actually really meant for a barber but oh, I, I managed you. i managed to modify them to suit what i needed to do cuz he has a great this is a great already suitcase by itself so watch this so i just pulled up to the event which is really important to minimize as much as you can to the event you're not setting shop shop you know you're you're coming in to do a quick job in and out so just grab your essentials so for me is this case right here the wheels the wheels come out oh, okay, okay. so no more wheels watch this no table needed because he has a pair of scissor legs that come out oh that's cool so you see that so they lock now my airbrushes believe it or not they're fully set up already in there but i'm able to flip it on the side without my paint uh, without my paint leaking or spilling or anything like that so now i always carry a dirty shirt so i can wipe paint whatever you know if you're changing guns or something i like to carry a small uh hat board or for small t-shirts but this is mainly for my hats okay now as, as you can see right here now let's bring it in closer so now this setup though oh, i forgot to bring it um i cut this out to have already my 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 uh, guns in here this is an inch and a half bottles so of course you will cut it out to the size of the bottles that you want um oh and it slides out like that slides open see my guns are already in here now if you pay attention they're at a 45 degree angle they're not they're not like this standing up straight so that way i can lay them out straight and it will not spill i can lay them down flat look and they still won't spill just okay. just a side note you always of course have to fill up your bottles 90% which that should be what you always filling in the up to 90% you don't want to put it all the way to the top cuz at any given moment that thing is just going to shoot out if you okay. get too close yeah you know so this setup right here so you can see i can just grab them and put them in place i'm just going to grab this grab them all just for sure so you can see them all all out and you like you got the quick connect setup too you use quick connect yep yep and everybody but me i'm the only that's, one that's the way to go it, it's simple like you know you roll up to an event with 20 hoses like no if you roll up simple look one hose that's all i need condense yeah. condense smaller cleaner uh we don't need a uh shoe boxes two box i actually used to roll with a with a toolbox in uh in events but then i saw this actually not too long ago last year like in august i bought it this is the old version the new version from shortcuts actually has has uh, uh, the the foam that you pluck, pluck and oh, pull, yeah, yeah, yeah. you make yourself your own. 
Okay, so that one's perfect. You don't need to drill out no holes for you it. Just pull it out. Yeah, pluck it. Boom, there you go. You have where your guns go. So I think it's like 350 right now at the moment. It comes just like this. The only thing that I had to make was this piece. And this is what I'm, I modified this, but from work. Let me see if I could get it out to show you guys. See? So the holes are made at an angle. Oh. That's so how you again, the bottles down on the inside. Uh-huh. See? So they're like this. They're sitting at a 45 degree angle. So this thing can close without hitting the, the guns. Uh, yeah. And... Oh, and it could remain in there. And I actually now, I live off of this now. I don't, I don't never take all my guns. I wherever I need to go, I just pull them off uh, out of here. Also, my easel, my easel is in here, as long with my, uh, with my hose. I, I have a light. I have this handy little thing that I made for, uh, uh, for my uh, hair dryer. Okay. Yeah. Here's. Here's another thing. Uh, whenever I need to refill my bottles, I need extra paint. Well, back here, there's a compartment when I have my paint. So I have another two ounce, this is three ounce travel bottles that you'll find at, at Walmart, Equay, these are like a dollar. So that's that's the bottles that I like to buy is a uh, Equay bottle, look. Oh, so those are like the $1. bottles. Yeah. One dollar at the clearance section. You'll find them there because you know if you buy in the pack, it, it'll cost like fifteen dollars for like five only. So you have that there. I always keep also. Uh, these are great from Chino. Chino stencils. Uh, these are hats, but they actually fit in there as well, so they hide. See, nice and slick. You don't have a whole bunch of stuff out. Uh, so these are great to do even t-shirts. You just need to do a little addition uh, when it comes to events. So if you see this right here, I got this uh, to put my uh, my blow dryer. I kind of have to open it a little bit. So let see, me finish. I need to build one of those on my easel too. Uh, something to hold my, I use a heat gun, but yeah, I need uh -huh. to have something like that. Yeah, heat guns, I'll, I'll use it here at the house. Um, but for the for the events, I like a I like a hair dryer. It's a little less dangerous, uh, not too hot. I don't want to burn something or someone. Yeah, um, yeah. I burn my cords with it sometimes. I burn my hose a couple of times with it. Oh, burn a hose, damn! I burned. You know, we've all probably burned a a hole through a hat. Yeah. Also, yeah, that's that's a pretty common one. Um, all right. Let me just. Finish sitting up. So there we go. So now I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm going to go ahead and put on a shirt. I got a Gildan, the best, 100% cotton. Yeah. Slapping on shirts. So right now, what I'm planning on doing is the, just my top three uh, designs at Bar Mitzvahs. If you guys check out my uh, my Instagram, you see kind of my setup there that I have uh, for events. And you can see the big old backdrop that I have. Yeah, pretty I like simple. that. I'm, I'm thinking about making me one of those. Yeah, they're pretty awesome. Uh, they they come in different sizes. Um, you design it one time, you know, it's, it's pretty uh, small, easy to carry, you know, clean. Which that's that's how you want to portray yourself at events. Now, yeah. now we're professionals. You know, yeah. we're no longer we're no longer at a store at a flea market in your garage. No, you wanna you wanna put yourself up there and you know show some nice some nice stuff. So let me see. So from when you get there, how long do you think your setup takes to get from from from, from when you set up from your start to when you set up? How long does it take? Uh, right now, nine minutes and 40 seconds, and that's because I've been talking a lot. Yeah. But if you get there ready for business, you know, you roll up with a little cart, already have your compressor, your 
your boards, your product, you just really roll up, you know. Ready look, to go. Yeah. yeah. You know, look, and within the 15 minutes, I could do two, three designs and roll back out, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So you're like me, you're like perfect. everything in one, everything is in one thing. You don't have to pack a bunch of things in at the same time. Everything is right there already. Yes, yes. You know, and we're all I, I think I've noticed this throughout the years, all airbrush artists. We we have we are always in the pursuit of the perfect setup. You notice that like everybody yeah. has some kind of setup, and they're like, "Yo, look, I made this." I made, uh, they're constantly making uh, racks out of wood, right? They drill the hoses. They have cool yeah. shelvings for the store, but mobile stations. Uh, the person that has, I think, the nicest ones in the game is, of course, Pete from uh, Airbrush Events. Yeah, you got the little toolboxes. Right, that that is is pretty heavy. So you you know you see your standards and you try to keep up with it. That's why I I upgraded from my toolbox to the next thing up. What is next? What is what is nice? Yeah, you know, a little friendly competition. I heard nobody at Burger King needs McDonald's. You know, keeps story, everybody bro. on their toes. You know, you, we might be cool, but in a way, it's like, what is this person doing? You know, you, you keep up. It keeps you fresh. And how can you build off of what they got to make something better? Yeah. But that's cool. That the Equate bottles. So the Equate bottles, they automatically uh, um, fit the, uh, the nozzle. The bottle. Yeah, see? I had to, well, these these caps, these are from my water. Um, and, of course, they come with their own bottles. Yeah. Um, which I think you can see here, they're a little more square. Yeah. And the equate, they're a little more round up on top. But it's the same the same size top. Uh, that's, so yeah. if your bottle gets nasty, gets filthy, is too chunky, throw the bottle away, but keep the top, you just get a fresh new one. From the dollar store from walmart and these are perfect small nice convenient with one full bottle you can definitely complete one event so yeah. and my spare is like i just make just make sure you always refill your paints so here I like to keep it um usually at events i do two colors but if it's slow in the beginning, then I throw like maybe three colors. My yep. yellow, my yellow will be my extra ones, you know. And then once everybody starts coming in, you you hit them with the with the nice down a little bit. And yeah. Get it fancy. I do that towards the end. Yeah, yeah. Once it begins to slow down, then sure. But in the beginning, I do it just to attract. So this is a sample of. I'm, I'm gonna do my three color. I'm gonna do my nice one. Now, my way of painting, I find it a little dangerous. My painting is not for for everybody. My bottles are extra nasty and oh, clogged up. Now, 17 years painting. This is how I was brought up. I just got used to it. I don't unclog that hole on purpose. No? I do not. They're all like that. Yeah, they're they're plugged up again on purpose, and it, that's just a style that I learned to backflow a little bit, and it creates enough pressure. Yeah, but again, it's just a little bit. I've overdone it in the past, and that whoosh, you just oh, shoot yeah. stuff straight yeah. right, you make a mess. But again, now I got better with that. Um, I do not recommend that. Do not follow that if you're a beginner. Do not clean your gun. Keep them good. It's good. Uh, good way to keep up and maintenance your precision tools. Yeah, you ought to see my ceiling because I back flow it. My ceiling no. full of it, man. Now because I'm I'm clogged up, I'm already used to always crack it, crack it open, and sometimes you hear it like a coke bottle. You hear the pressure, yeah. Right. So it's scary. So once it's open, I like to flow back a little bit. As you notice, I don't keep my, my crown cap. Yeah. I have removed them. 
Uh, it gives you cleaner lines. I feel like that Crown Cap created a vortex in there. It just gives you like blurry lines. Doesn't yeah. give you the sharpness that you want. Um, of course, I got to do my wife. This is my wife's name, Yvonne. So that's one of my main ones for the girls that so they like them. Now, using this quick stencils, I'm going to show a, a simple design, super fast. And by keeping just a handful of, of stencils, you can add so much more to your design. This is my number three, I believe it is. Notice there. Yeah. I put some, Huh? Oh, you have that on oh, your display, on oh, your backing that you have on your display designs. Uh -huh, you don't uh -huh. ever change them up. Everything is, is just one set design. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I give them enough. 12 designs. Uh, different colors. You know, they could change the colors. They could change the, anything they wanted to say. But I've been thinking actually of downsizing. Here and there for larger events. Yeah. Oh, for, you know, it might be a little too much, uh, sometimes a little overwhelming. So that's so that's where I think. Up. Yeah, they stand so there longer. Looks, yeah, try to figure out what they want. Yeah, you know, so it, it or uh, I, I don't know, it's, it's so many. It's like, yeah. what, so it's like, you know what, then that's where we step in and we're like, well, we'll recommend this one, recommend that one. You know, I have assistants there and they'll handle the, the flow and they'll talk people into to what they they should be getting but um i've been thinking of downsizing there's some artists that yes that they they keep it from four to maybe six sometimes eight i have 12 and i even figured that sometimes it, it might be a, a little too much like i said it, it overwhelms uh, it's a little swirl Yeah, I think I've uh, I can get mine down to just names and a color. Names are one or two colors, and I just keep it at names only. Yeah, unless they request design, then I'll I'll make a, a design like quickly design patterns. Three girls design three boys. Uh huh. So for the beginners that want to get into the party things, then I recommend keep, uh, uh, like you see it here, simple one two colors. Um, for some designs like this, I like my go-to when you want to make it like nicer or bigger, I always like to add that circle. It kind of just wraps it all together. Right. Um, like sometimes, a filler. yeah, you know, and it doesn't make it so square, so bland, uh, yeah. to me, it, it uh, yeah, it's, it kind of bothers me whenever I, I just don't see, I don't know, 17 years again of doing this. <laughs> After a while, you you know you learn a little bit more tricks, and you know what they say yeah. for people. So you kind of like, yeah, do it that way. See here, I I extended it, make it seem a little bit bigger. Um, makes them feel like they get more than they what more when you're really not giving them more. It just makes it looks like you're giving them more. Uh huh. Yes, yes. You know, and this is all a visual. Yeah. Uh, People love seeing it from far, just like my board. Yeah, it looks nice from far away. It calls attention. It attracts people. Uh, but yeah, I just I just feel like uh, we need to switch that up. Yeah. Now watch this. Just a simple oval, but I love using this one. I love to use the stars and uh, and this hexa. Oh, yeah, I like that one. I got one of those. Yeah, this is like big. It's just a nice addition to the background. Now, I don't want to get into your business business, but if somebody messages me on how, to, how much to charge for it, it's making profit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How much to charge? Ed want to know how much to charge for a party. 
Okay. Now, when charging, I I like to uh, consider how many hours are you going to be there. Uh, what is the product? Hats, t-shirts, all of that. Uh, you're always going to want to, uh, of course, you know, you you upcharge a little bit more, so you make some of the product as well for those yeah. guys that are new. Uh, so you want your hourly rate. Uh, how many hours are you going to be there? Are you going to have an assistant? How far is it? Do you need miles now? I think the IRS says uh, 61 cents per mile you should be charging. So I always ask those questions. Uh, the date of the event, of course, uh, how many hours, uh, items, uh, how many guests are you having? Uh, in that way, you know, you kind of add it up on the side and, and then you think to yourself, for a four hour event, three hours away, is this how much my profit is going to be? Does yeah. this seem fair? You know, you can also do kind of, of a, uh, you know, just to, to get a ballpark of where you want to be charging for an event might be like a, like a wholesale rate. Okay, I'm having, you know, 120 shirts, uh, 120 items, 120 shirts, let's say. Uh, then you think, okay, the average shirt is 20 to $25, but this is a wholesale. So let's do $15, $17 each. So they're getting a wholesale rate. And then you do your math and you're like, you know what? Okay, that looks that looks about right. So you can base it off of there, you know, give them a wholesale rate of each individual shirt yeah. if that is the case. If you don't know how to get your hours, your miles, your product, then just do a, the regular pricing that you do, just like a mural. Whenever I do murals, I kind of go off by square footage. So a square foot will be a chest design. So if this is a twenty twenty five uh, dollar design, and this wall is an A by eight, so you got you know what is a sixty four? Yeah. So then, okay, I cannot charge them twenty dollars per square. So then you do you know you bring it down and you notice okay I could probably do ten dollars per square foot or seven dollars square foot depending on how much detail is in that one square kind of visualize yeah yeah um i i have a hourly rate of a 150 i do 150 one, an hour 150 hours. okay that's good and then and plus it, shirts or if i'm doing shirts uh, i will mm -hmm. give you the, the the price of the shirts that i normally mm -hmm. like buy them wholesale mm -hmm. i won't charge i heard somebody say something about um um, charge per design on the shirt. I'm like, nah, that don't that ain't gonna work. No, you're gonna out price yourself. And you're gonna price yourself out of the job. That's how I see it. Uh, and for those that are starting to uh, do not go in there just freestyling everyone's events. Try to have at least four designs minimum. Let them pick only from this four. You don't want to sit there and have a line because you have to do uh, the New England Eagles or. You know, yeah, or whatever. Switch. You know, it's always gonna be somebody. No, you you, you don't want to be there drawing boats. Yeah. S keep it simple. Keep it moving. Each design like this, I've timed myself. I can go between uh, forty five seconds to a minute and thirty if I put extra stuff on it. Yeah. So then that's where you figure that a minute a shirt average. Then that means that in one hour I could do you know, between 30 and 60, I want to say. Yeah. Now, uh, hats, so especially they, hats. Some, some people ask, how many items can you do per hour? Uh-huh. Oh, Eric, good. Christopher Riley, Eric Holloway. They're talking about um, something else. A good artist cannot get 25 to 30 shirts per hour with a helper, of course, yes. Yeah. Uh, and when guest takes 20 minutes to decide, it's an average blown out. Yeah. But I, I, at least, yeah, your assistant will handle that. You just keep banging. Keep banging. Yeah. Uh, and one last one. I guess I'll just write my name in some, like, block graffiti-ish letters. I order, uh, on mine, I do the, the six fonts. I do uh, print, grip, hippie, uh, scratch, tattoo, uh -huh. um, tag. Those are the fonts that I offer. Uh-huh. So Yeah, some kind of, of like scratchy, 
do a script, yeah, like that. And and as as long as they're fast, you're there for yeah. speed. You're not there to to do individual shirts. Usually, somebody comes like, "Hey, uh, my my cousin is a is a fan of so and so." Like, sorry, not here, but you're more than welcome to hit me up after the event, and now we just got to keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. So, with that said, let's start cutting it up. Now I'm gonna wrap it up. So, yes, you can see how how fast this uh is it, is it? setup can be. And it's really cool. Um, the airbrushes just simply. So do you clean them out before or you blow out your paint? After, oh, you don't even take your bottles off. Correct. Yeah. You're okay. there in and out. You're not there to, to clean up. You put everything away and have a nice trip home. Yeah. So. Do you provide tables or you actually provide the table for you to lay out the layout? Um, I usually, yes, on the contract, you'll tell them that you do want them to provide power, uh, tables and chairs. Uh, I sometimes, just because I guess I have the extra room, I'll bring my, like an extra table with yeah. the stretchy uh, linen on yeah, it. Yeah. Uh, because there's been times where they say, yeah, there's going to be a table there, but it turns out you're at a, at a sports complex and they only have benches. Oh yeah. So yeah. now, you know, so now they're like, Oh shoot, I don't have, I don't have what I need. Um, so yeah, you don't want to be stuck in that situation. So let me see. So as you can see, they go at an angle. Oh yeah. The 45. So, uh when you're doing, when you have your, your helper, do your helper uh, board the shirt for you? Or yes. They they take the order. I like to use the sticky notes. Uh, yeah. So that way they, they can stick it just up here, up in a corner. And I could just grab my next shirt, paint it, put it down, my, grab my next shirt, and keep going. I don't have to sit there on board shirts, board shirts. Yeah. Um, I, I've been using uh, tape, tape and marker. Just write uh -huh. it out, put it on there. Now I have a little, uh, a little uh, like setup there with the labels, where on the top left corner it will say a number one through twelve. Yeah. Uh, the bottom left corner will have colors, P and K, B L U. You know the uh, the colors of the paint. Top right corner of the label will be a hat or a T-shirt or if it's a, a pink hat, black hat, and then smack in the middle of the label, that's the name that they want me to write on it. See? So I'm not gonna put my hose away, but you can see how as long as everything is like lined up, you should be able to squeeze them in like just nice and tight where everything just closes. Man. That's like I said. That's like me. I have. I want to have everything in one thing, so I don't have to, you know, pack five and six different things. Trips going back and forth trying to grab stuff. Uh -huh. so everything is right there. Yeah. It, it, there's there's sometimes that uh you know I work with other companies and they already have the product there. I literally only roll up with my compressor and my guns. Two that's things. It. Walk in and walk back out. Cause in here you have my easel, you have my guns. Uh, my hose, extra paint. I have stencils. I have pens. Everything that I need. Oh, you can see the messages. I try to put everybody's yeah. comments up there for a little while. I see. I see. No more than two background colors. So no beating. Yep. No profanity. Vulgar, obscene. Especially if you're at a bar mitzvah. Yeah. Now, if you're like a those sorority kids event, are rowdy though. Those little kids are rowdy though. You gotta they, watch. Them. They get their way around. They, they, they'll start gathering and then they'll come up. Oh, let's get this. Like, hey, let's get this three letters. You don't know what those three letters yeah. are, yeah. but it turns out it's three curse words in one. Oh, man. They, yeah. You they get pretty. It. Yeah. I do exceptions. Like, if we're doing a, either a corporate event or a, uh, maybe a wedding or uh, sorority, they're technically adults. So, you know, we're, we'll go from PG to maybe M for mature. Yeah, we won't let them get you know so so bad. Yeah, but too we'll bad. give them some freedom. Yeah. Um, 
I do got more tricks up to sleep. We're already up to 30 minutes. I don't want to take oh, no, no more fine. of anybody's time. Because there's, like, but... there's a lot of questions going on, too. There's still a lot of people co uh, commenting about it. Uh, are you planning on selling them? Or are you going to, something you want to manufacture and sell for yourself? Uh, no, no. This is this is just knowledge uh, that, uh, that I want to no, spread. No, I'm talking about the box. Oh, no, the box. Yeah. Like I'm telling you, you go to shortcuts.com uh, in a little bit. I'll, I'll put it down in the comments so people can DM me and I'll tell you where to get it. And the website, I think they're right now 350 for this case, but he has an option. I forgot which brand is it, but you can make payments on it. And I was making payments 80 bucks every two weeks. That doesn't sound too bad. And they'll send it right to you. And again, the new ones have more wheels, have that, uh, they call it the universal, the universal uh, shortcut box. And that one you can pluck each individual thing. So right off the bat, you can start using it even uh, for events yeah. as is. And then you can make your own small modifications. Uh, Ed asked another question about how do you pay your shirt nurse? Uh, is that something that you include into your pricing? Yes, you include it to your pricing. Uh, I like to start everyone at 50 bucks an hour. Uh, you yeah, know, it's a good for someone that's that. just, yeah, <laughs> 50 bucks an hour, you know, but there, uh, it depends, you know, too, because uh, back over there uh, in New Jersey, uh, we had two different pay rates, whether the assistant drives or doesn't drive, ah. you know, because now they're getting dropped off in gas and all that. But if, if you guys carpool to the same place, uh, there will be no mileage there for the second person only and, and hourly. Again, I like to start everybody at 50 bucks. You figure for, even like my daughter sometimes comes with me and for a teenager, you know, to make 50 bucks an hour, that's not bad. She even, they, in they a three hour event, they made 150 bucks. Just doing what they would do normally if you brought them to the shop to do it. For free. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here, you know, mingle with the people. It, it helps their communication skills, social skills, you know, especially with my teenagers. So yeah. uh, it's all part of it. I do want to later on, we'll touch up on. Do you know what this is? No, what is that? This is a, uh, a spot shooter. This is for screen printing, but it actually shoots off paint of shirts in case have you ever made a spill on a shirt by accident or maybe you wrote you're right the wrong letters this yeah. is is an eraser for airbrush t-shirts you no longer have to start the shirt again ah uh, i use white paint paint and the heat gun to kind of clean up and then right on top of it but then no that yeah no because it's you know sometimes how about if the shirt is not white or you have to, you'll see that there's a spot there that you did something extra, right? Or you, you, what normally we used to do is just put some extra stars in there, right? In the yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, this, I ended up doing a portrait and my purple just dripped uh, right at the bottom. And it was a white coat because it was for a wedding. Yeah. So you have now a big purple dot all the way here at the bottom of the shirt with a nice, beautiful portrait. And it's like, you, you, you can't put a start on that. So you shoot it off and literally this would, it's so really loud. So that off of air? Um, it's, it's a little motor, it's pretty loud. Uh, again, we can go into more details and, and more techniques if you want. Uh, yeah, some people say keep it going. I mean, I ain't got nothing to do, I'm already home. <laughs> it's on your time. <laughs> look, look, okay, we're gonna take this. Let's see. Oh, should sure. I disconnect them? I like. Okay, there. Look, I'm gonna shoot it. I'm gonna shoot something right off. Cause see, you teaching a bunch of old people something too. Cause uh, I never heard of that either. This is all. Cause in the beginning, when I first started airbrushing, I worked at a silk screen shop for like six years, and with that silk screen money, I got my first air guns, and I was doing events. So. See, now I'm not prepared though too much because uh, you need a little bucket. Because oh, yeah. it is literally going to shoot straight through. But you hold it nice and tight. Okay. Prime. Okay. Oh, that's 
cool. I'm about to look for one of those. I think it's like $65. And I'm shooting acetone. Acetone, okay. There, there is, for screen printing, there's a special chemical that you have to buy. But this is the alternative that I learned in the industry. And it's an you airbrush eraser. Game, you give it up game today. That's I'm good. I'm telling right? you. I, I got more. I got more. So stay tuned for next episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's yes, cool, man. man. I'm here to share knowledge. And uh, that's what I want to switch it to for everybody to, like, you know, share something. So for the new guys to learn something. And, you hey, know, your yeah. experiences taught you your own tricks, your own ways around things. You know, everybody's experiences, you know, and then sometimes you learn something that that seem obvious, but it is not obvious to everyone. Like yeah, you, yeah. you learn your own techniques, right? And it's so, like I learned to airbrush with crappy guns. I tell you this, when I work with another artist, they cannot touch my guns. I let them borrow it, but when they spray, they they can't. My guns are built different. Like I I already have built up and and know how to work around my issues. And yeah. I still, if you check out my page, all those detailed portraits and stuff like that, I did them with this busted ass guns, but. And they work I, for you. Yeah, yeah. Cause see, I would go crazy with the hole being plugged. Cause I would, I would be trying to backflow it and poke the hole, try to get it going. Yeah, yeah. See, but sometimes if, if you have a little, uh, like a little booger, you know, how we call it, inside yeah. the nozzle, inside the, the cone, then uh, just a little bit of pressure when you blast off into your dirty shirt. That's why I like to keep a dirty yeah. shirt. You blast it off in here, and there's so much pressure inside the bottle that it, it just pushes right out. And then also when you want to blast a lot of pain, it's also helpful. But again, do not recommend it. That is not for the that is not for the weak. Yeah. Hold <laughs> on one second. I want to show you something that I did. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead, you can keep talking. I'll be right There's, back. Doesn't my name come up in the comments? Let's look at some at uh, some comments. Uh, let's see. Oh, Ergen, I see you. My brother from Australia. Yeah. No one does. No, no one does. He just says fake people use it. Except Ed. Eddie. Eddie, I saw your videos, brother. Good looking. Your stuff looking crisp. That's why I don't go back. At okay, so you know, we have a T-shirt. So I was doing an event, and I was um, I normally blow into my draw. I have a draw, and the lady paid uh -huh. me cash, so I threw the money down into the draw. So I was cleaning my guns and straight. I got a twenty dollar bill that I just spray painted, <laughs> and I can't do nothing with it. It's just <laughs> out of there, man. Look at that. Yeah. Because I, I don't have a T-shirt in there, so I was just uh -huh. blowing, and it got all over the money, and I can't. Do oh nothing man. Shoot. Okay. Hey. Have you tried? You probably could go to the bank as long as they certify that. Yeah, it's all you know. I just learned not to. I need to put me something in there to kiss that paint when I'm cleaning out switching guns. I've, Do you, I've heard, so uh -huh. you have that? Do you switch colors or at all? But you got on your quick neck and you got the color. You only offer those colors that you have. Uh, yeah. Which these colors they uh, I have technically everything except maybe brown. Um. Yeah, no, because, you know, for events, you want to keep it bright with the kids. Everybody wants that purple, pink, yellow, blue, yeah. green, red. As long as you got those, the primary and secondary colors, every other color is, is not, you know, the, yeah. the customer can choose one up or one down. They'll be fine. Yeah, because uh, I think I, like, I, try to, I try to limit it so I can keep the line going. So I try to... Um, Keep it to certain colors. Like I think the party I did Saturday, I did it at six colors only. So working from mm -hmm. there, but it ended up working out. Nobody really complained about it. I see Oregon. I'm. I'm. That's Oregon. You guys need plastic notes, like us what? in Australia. Notes. I'll. I'll need to know that. Is it like the little labels to where we write our orders? Hold on. Is that Oregon? Let me see. Maybe yeah, I can they, add them on there. Let me see. He Cut. said on the on the on the chat. Okay, let me see if I can get him on here. If he's on here, hold up a second. You ready? You ready, Ergen? Put on some clothes. Let's see if I can get him on here. If that's him. Okay. 
you know, I, I actually met Ergen in New York City when I was airbrushing at the Toys R Us in Times Square with Air Graphics Entertainment. Uh, and oh, he passed other. by one day. Yeah, with the other air graphics, yeah. <laughs> yeah, the other one. <laughs> and I actually met him. We took a picture with him back then. John, do you have a color palette of colors for them to choose from? Um, no, I just make sure that my board has uh, all the combinations, uh, pink and blue, purple, yellow, you know, so at least they see, they see their color is in here. Hey, Ergen, I, I sent you a link if you want to join in. I'll, I'll add you on. Just click the link. But yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I think it's sometimes you have to keep it like kids keep it simple. I try not to give them like I said. I don't want to overload them because I want to keep it moving. Because it's, it's mm -hmm. especially if you had a, a bar mitzvah, where you got 150 shirts to do, and yeah, and it's, it's like maybe one or two, and you all got to do it. How long does it take for me to do a portrait? Um, let's say portraits. Uh, I have come to the point where I could do. A, de a decent portrait in about three hours, three to four hours. I want to put more detail than I go to six. Uh, but I think that is because I spend a lot of time, uh, I layer my colors. If you look at the videos, uh, I first do the person in a light tan, the entire person. Uh, right here, I will do all tan up to here, then this all black. I iron that. And then the next layer, then I'll do a, a mid-tone. And then once I'm done doing a mid-tone all around, I iron that again. And then my light tones, and then iron that again. And that builds up layers, and it actually turns into a nice sheet of plastic, which, of course, it will extend the life of a shirt. Yeah. And I just noticed you just posted one. Then you did a black, you just did a black shirt of Celine Dion. Yes, yes. I that is a black, black hoodies. So of course I had to layer uh, some gray, some whites in there. But if you iron in between layers, uh, the paint doesn't get soaked into the fabric anymore. So you don't end up with this washed out look. Uh -huh. So after you iron, the next layer of paint will stop right there. It doesn't go through. So then you iron that. And you end up with a nice sheet that when you get to the end, now is detail time. You can reduce your paint. Uh, like I have a uh, a BCS, a HPCS. I mean, so ain't no micron, but you reduce. Hey, you're good. Got arrogant on there. What's up, brother? What's going on? How so, are we? Let me just finish that thought, and then yeah, you, you get really close and really fine, and no need a. Uh, uh, Meaning the ironing will get you high detail without the need. So yeah, Ergen, how you doing over there? What time is it? I'm good. I'm good. At, it's um twenty to eleven in the morning. In the oh, morning. Yeah, yeah. And, and what day is it? It's um Monday. It's still Monday. Tuesday. Tuesday. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tuesday the second, right? Or is it the third yeah, over there? The second. Uh see, so. What? That's crazy how the time works. I'm I'm lost. It's the fourth today. <laughs> yeah, I, the fourth. Okay, so you guys are in the I future. Had long, I, I had a long weekend. I did a an event. It was Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm just recuperating. <laughs> uh huh. Awesome. Awesome. I know that some people use poor, uh they they um they would bleach the shirt uh -huh. and then the black shirts and then they would do the design on top of the bleach shirt. Yeah, yeah, because just like photo paper, you need that white background, right, for all the colors to come up. But yeah, if you yeah. just throw some, even black, like black on a black shirt, and then you iron that, the next layer, it doesn't get soaked in. It stays on top, and your your colors show up brighter and uh, and cleaner whenever you do nice, clean, sharp lines. Yeah, Gary, Gary Worthington used to spray bleach on the black shirts and airbrush over the top. Yeah. Uh-huh. Do they yeah. wash it first? You think I know some people wash their shirt after they put the bleach, they wash it because so they get the bleach out and then they redo it. Yeah, see, I, I find that another process. Yeah, I mean, like whenever, <laughs> whenever somebody pays for a like a, a, a nice portrait, then I'll 
I'll lint roll. I even have this little machine. I don't have it with me, but it's kind of like to cut off the little uh, fuzz that's sticking out. Yeah. So I'll use a lint roller, and then I use that that thing to shave the shirt. I'm literally shaving a shirt to get it smoother oh, before I like start little, laying down. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. That I don't know what that thing is called, but do have, yeah. Do Do you do that? Do you do portrait, Eric? Uh, when I have the time. <laughs> well, you have time. I, right. you I, I, I don't. I don't like to do them because I got to spend too much time on them. Uh, See that that is also part of the reason what i've gone now to events i'm trying to step away from custom orders is because er ergen even knows this events is where the money at yeah 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 that's yeah. what i just did you week. you sitting at at a at one t-shirt for six hours yeah you could be doing little smiley faces and hearts and stuff like that for like four this. hours and, and be more, making and make more triple. money yeah yes. faster faster dollar earn a lot yes. more yeah, yeah. the thing That's is I, now I, i'm in san antonio and there isn't that uh here the only one is airbrush brothers up in houston and they technically cover all of all of texas yeah they, but, they, they're cleaning up man i see yeah, yeah. yeah. i i work with them uh sometimes yeah. on the weekends too as well but it, it's more of education so now People find it great, but they don't know this exists. So yeah. now you have to, uh, you know, tell the market like, "Hey, we're here. We do this." <laughs> you know, it's now all, it's, no it's crazy as as long as it's been around, it's still mm -hmm. people who have never really seen it before, and and they they be like, "Oh, like I never knew this existed." Like, what? Is yeah, what whatever? is this? Oh, yeah, the spray still, paint. It surprises me till this day that they still think airbrushing is so new. Like it's it's uh -huh. never been seen. Yeah. Before like it's like a new thing yeah yeah but now uh, uh you know people are ages yeah uh, now they're like oh look son i used to get one of these back <laughs> yeah. when i was at the yeah. right so they, it gets really that nostalgic that <laughs> yes right but like now it's their turn and for them it's really colorful it's really bright so i i don't think airbrush is gonna die but we do no. definitely need to keep it alive I think it, I think it fluctuates. I think it goes up sometimes and it goes down. Uh -huh. but, but now yeah. it's like it's it's enough parties for everybody now. It's like I stopped doing yeah. parties a long time ago, but now I'm starting to get back into it, and I'm yeah. still getting parties every weekend. Yeah, I just yeah. think it's growing. I just think it's actually like getting mm -hmm. a lot bigger and a lot larger worldwide, like like from America yeah. to Australia. Like oh yeah, like yeah. The amount of people that want airbrushing now it's compared to uh -huh. the 90s here yeah. in Australia it's so much different like now it's like it's actually mm -hmm. exposed to the world yeah yeah so everybody follows it now this culture of the retro and the vintage and now they're yeah. having 90s parties and 80s babies they're yeah. bringing all of this yeah right and all this other stuff now yeah man so the market is there there's a lot to go around so you know, the spread think, the knowledge. But you do have to hustle. You do have to get out and get it. And yeah. No knocking on your door all the time. You got to get out there and get it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So I saw you at an event. So. I saw um, Ray was there. Uh, the uh, Ray, o well, we call him Ray o Olis, Olis. But uh, he was at one of your gigs that you just had in Australia. Black guy, Ray black guy, wheelchair. Oh, uh, Ralph. Uh, Ralph. The I thought it was Ray of Ray of Jacobs. Ray of Jacobs. Oh no, sorry. Um, I got your name and stuff. Um, oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> um, geez, what's his um? I saw a picture. He had posted a picture. You were talking to somebody in a yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in an event. I know he. I know who you mean. I've I've just blanked out for a minute. Um, I'll I'll send you a picture later. I know he said he posted it. Yeah. He does all the caricatures. Yeah, he does the caricatures now. Yeah. Rafe. Rafe. Was yeah. Rafe? He's a, yeah, he was he's... at your event. That was just recently, wasn't it? That okay. was in um last month in uh, Melbourne. I did the Comic Con. Mm -hmm. So that was yeah. in Melbourne. So nice I did Comic Con. One. I traveled to events. So I'm in Sydney and um Melbourne's another state in this um Australia, which is about eight hours drive or an hour and a half flight. So I, I fly down there, do that convention, then I'll come back to Sydney. Oh. 
So yeah. um yeah, he he there's a lot of, a lot of artists in Melbourne. That's like an arty city, so mm -hmm. yeah. But he yeah. lives there, and every time I go there, we somehow get to meet up and catch yeah. up while we're at the event. Yeah. Uh, yeah I just saw Ed posted about uh, that. There's a misconception that uh, people get scared because the paint smells. Oh um, yeah, yeah. Now I don't, know, I don't have I don't have that problem. Yeah, it's, it's a bit pretty. Like, it's I pretty non toxic. Yeah, they always ask, oh, does it smell? Does it go everywhere? It's like, no, I'm not shooting everywhere. It's water-based. <laughs> yeah. you, you tell them, you know, hey, it's water-based acrylic. is non-toxic. And it is a really minimal uh, air pressure going straight into the item. It, for extra, you know, uh, precaution, you could put a little uh, drop cloth or something on the floor to just in case you know you do drip if it happens now now that he said paint smells do you guys have a color that just stinks in your toolbox somebody used to say uh aqua flow purple was was would stink i can't no. I, honestly i can't smell i have those no no. Uh, I don't. I don't oh, wait man. for a long enough for it to smell. I try and use it all. <laughs> you just blast through it until. They, but I've had, and I I know some people that have had a bad batch of paint. Like me, my recent one was green. My green somehow, it, it which I know is bacteria that started growing inside the bottle, and yeah. gives it a stink. Right, usually a stink comes from bacteria, just like armpits, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I've known people that are the color red. All of a sudden, it just smells really bad. They smell funky, but in like different ways. So, it, like you're at I, an event, and it yeah. just smells like pure <laughs> booty in there, or something like yeah. it's it's just really bad. So I've had I a, know um, a bad batch of Createx bottle. It was a yellow ochre, I think. And, um, <laughs> it, it it I hadn't used. It. I've never used it, and I went to use it one time. It smelled like rotten egg. And I was yes. going, oh man, I wish I never opened this bottle. So I ended up throwing it away. But uh -huh. when I painted with it, when I opened it, it was like off egg. It just really <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, and it, it is weird, right? It just it just happens. And it, for me, it just happens with different colors. It'll jump around yeah, like yeah. like a uh, like some disease. But right now <laughs> I just got rid of my green. I've heard of people returning bad batches to like Kratex or Aquaflow. I and you let them know your issue, and they will, you know, send you just uh, some new fresh bottles. The ETAC, I don't know if you realize, I don't know if you guys use ETAC, but the ETAC, they got uh -huh. this, they got this nice fragrance in there. It just smells really nice. There. Yes, yes. I don't Sam know Newton. Yeah, I, 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 be, I don't know if he's watching, but Sam Newton, I learned a lot from that man in Jersey. Yeah, it was, it was great, and it was annoying painting next to that guy. Because you, you just smell the fruit basket whenever that man is painting. Even though the shirt smells delicious, it's, they smell great. <laughs> the put, purple, purple yeah. smells like grape. Well, you, yeah, that's, 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 that's what they need. That is an additive. Yeah, yeah, it's an yeah, additive. What, what's yeah. Up additive? Is there an additive? It, you, he has it. Yes. Yeah, he has that. Uh, hit up what, Sam, what, Samuel Newton. I don't know. Okay, Samuel okay. Newton, he knows all of that. He knows how to mess oh, with all oh. them colors and mixes his own I'll colors send him too a private message. yes yes great yeah, smelling but... paint but uh yeah it just gets too many smells for me especially if i'm next to him but it's not great yeah <laughs> what kind of paint do you use uh for me is a uh, uh createx uh wicked i like wicked wicked slightly yeah. cheaper than the uh, regular opaques uh is multi-purpose because you could use it on also hard surface not just uh porous uh, so I, I believe it has a little more reducer, faster flashing. So whenever you do a hard surface, it, it dries up a little quicker. So you can I, keep layering. Are you using the, um, do you use the 4011 reducer with that or? 4012. 4012, you find that works better. Yeah, yeah. I just, I, I just went straight for that one uh, and use really minimum. Uh, you, what out. do you use, Ralph? I use straight out of the bottle. I'll I'm, I'm a mixture of Wicked and um, Etac. I'm a mixture. I, I mix. Yeah. I mix. Um, I mix. I mix Wicked with Etac, but usually straight Etac straight from the bottle works for me. Yeah, I just like to pour a little squirt, like in the in my spare bottles that I keep. 
Yeah. Uh, like if this is my spare one, I add just a nice little hard squirt into this and my black will flow smoother. You'll give me better lines um, as well as my colors. Yeah. Yeah, no, it just a lot better. So my five uh, months. All right. So Ergo, when you how long does it take y'all to set up for an event? Do y'all like uh he has a huge setup though. Yeah, I know. He now, does. now, now that's a different uh, event style though, because that's more like cash open uh, events. I'm, I'm more into the the private, private corporate events. Yeah, you with a set the, amount of people. Yeah, yeah, the four hour event. Whereas, uh -huh. when I do an event, it's um, I set up the day before, so it might take me three to four hours, because I individually staple every hat onto the wall. Mm -hmm. And, oh, and yeah. then I have like three or four hundred hats on the wall to sell in the two days, as well as what I can paint on the day. Uh huh. So yeah. when do I come, pre -prep? my friends are gonna die. How far in advance do y'all pre prep for an event? How often? How, how long? I, do you I'm, al I'm always, I'm always painting um, before the event. Anyway, I mean, I'm always painting. Like today, I'm not painting, but um. Mm -hmm. it, I just keep painting stock until I make sure I never have, an, um, never have enough stock. Like, make sure uh -huh. there's always enough stock to go to any event. Yes. I, I don't know when my next next event might be. Some might call me tomorrow and say, "Hey, can you do an event for me?" And, uh -huh. and if I don't have the stock ready, and mm -hmm. then I won't be able to do the event. Yeah, always ready, always ready. Like whenever we do a uh, softball events. See now for uh, like whenever I do a softball events. I don't have pre-made stuff, but I like I at least like to keep a, a good dozen small, medium, larges, extra larges, kid sizes, different color hats, at least always in in uh in some bins just yeah. stuck in there. And with yeah. some samples. With, There's with, some samples in there. Yeah, with with your with I, I get with your type of setup, it's a one day event. You're not gonna have like what I have. I'm gonna have a bunch of pre-made characters. I yeah. spend a bit of time on because I'm sling them at like thirty or forty dollars. I I, I I can. can. I have uh uh, like some of these events are actually sometimes at three day tournaments. I just choose not to because you know I might do events for boys or I might do events for girls like the softball tournaments. Uh, yeah. those will be more girly, more moms, and then they always ask for something different to match their teams. So for, yeah. for my style, I just can't have uh, pre-made stuff. Maybe pre-colored, but then yeah. if it doesn't match the teams, that's where it, it, yeah. it kind of fails for me. But if I was yeah. going, I definitely always wanted to go to Comic-Con. Oh, that is Well, Comic-Con, you got to go. Well, here in Australia, I've got to go prepared. So uh -huh. if I'm gonna, yeah, for that I'm one, you could definitely have preset. Uh -huh. I'm going to have a bunch of gamer hats, you know, characters. I'm just uh -huh. going to... Have all that I can give to any mm -hmm. customer that comes by from yes. any genre. That, oh yeah, you know, might be asking for any type of thing. I'm gonna make sure it's on the wall, so I mean yeah. I don't miss out. As well as I have blank hats in case I get a custom order, I can paint it there and then as uh -huh. well. So I don't miss yeah. out. Yeah, yeah but no, it's a no, lot. It's great. a lot different here. I mean, uh -huh. in America, I notice there's a lot more speed, and you you got you got to push these things out fast because you got the population. Yes. Of, in America compared to Australia is a lot different. Yes, uh, we yes. Don't, we don't have to cultures. work at that speed uh -huh. where you've got to keep pushing out stuff because you've yeah. got so uh -huh. many people wanting that one thing. But when in Australia, uh -huh. people come for the one or one or two particular things, and then they're not they're in on they're in no hurry to get that item. Uh -huh. So you got to make sure the stock yeah. is right. I was always brought up like that on speed. As yeah. soon as I was able to learn to do a dagger stroke, I literally got thrown into bar mitzvahs like right away. Yeah. So I didn't get a chance to do, uh, you know, t-shirts or orders aside because I was too busy flying through shirts. And that's how I got to 30 seconds a shirt to a minute and a half, yeah. you know. I, mean, I, 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 do, I do bar mitzvahs. I mean, I've done a few last year, um, not this uh -huh. year, but... um. It was like 150 hats in two hours, you know. But mm -hmm. that's that's basically yeah. You could do yeah. Yeah. I do get them sort of jobs. 
I was always thought uh-huh. that time is money. So the faster you pay, the faster the yes. more money. You pay. Yes, yeah, especially when it comes to stores. Yeah, you do want to average. Okay, how how many am I cranking out per hour? And there goes yes. your hourly rate. You know that. Yeah. And that goes big into that. So yeah. So and now I apply my bar mitzvah speed to whenever somebody wants a custom order. Yeah. Then boom, I just knocked out a forty-five dollar shirt in five minutes. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Are y'all pretty much already? Y'all always ready? Do y'all have a, a dagger's room? You have to yes. give somebody a, a, a. They have a certain amount of time to to request you before you're ready to go to the event. Like a week. They got to call you a week before or. Nine. No, <laughs> no you get a call tomorrow. Can you do my event? And yeah, hey, yes. <laughs> I've had calls in the many years back. Hey, we have booked somebody. He's not picking up the phone. Party is in three hours. Can you be here? Oh wow! It's like well, that's that's when you get the right. Go. You can charge. You know, you Ooh. can charge more because I need. Yeah, you. Uh-huh. yeah. They put you on. They put you on the on, like out of. Like it's like you weren't ready for it, but you got to get ready for that. That's, yeah. uh, I got one like that. I got asked Wednesday, uh, Thursday to do one for Saturday, and I was ready to do it. Then, yeah. then, then, then type of jobs are the, the ones you want. Yeah, yeah, because you can charge yeah. whatever you want. You can charge yeah. an upcharge on it. Jump on well, it. Well, <laughs> now, I had a recent event uh, where I, w- I was in addition. There was already two airbrush artists there, but they wanted a third one to do airbrush tattoos. And I was only like an hour and a half away from San Antonio to Austin. It's only like an hour and a half. So they were like, hey, man, it, it's, it was like 2 p.m. They're like, hey, party starts at 7. Will you be down to to be added as a, an additional artist? Yeah, sure. So I think I, I at least you. had. Did you live stream that on Instagram? Or did you mm, put that up on no. Instagram? No, I, I, did, I, did, I, did. I did see you. Post something on Instagram. On my stories. I usually on do quick stories, stuff yeah. on stories. Yeah. Yeah. It was a I album wish, release I had, party. I wish we had a team of artists like that here in Australia. I'd I'd be all in. I'd love to do that. Yeah. Then you then you build one. There there is actually a, a another team of airbrush artists there in Australia that I follow. It's some some girls. Yeah, that's and, the girls I was in Melbourne with. The um, oh yeah. Uh, airbrush Co. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Yeah. I follow them. Yeah, oh, they're right. always yeah. cranking out parties. Yeah, they, yeah they, they're, good. they're doing a lot. But see, they're in Melbourne. They're in a different state to me. That's where uh-huh. I went for Comic Con. That's where I flew down. Yeah. Hey, just like here, you know, there, if the city is big enough, we all fit. You know, yeah. Ralph and, and uh, Airbrush Brothers, they're all in Houston. But if yeah. you think about the entertainment industry, as yeah. many of us artists that they're out there, we're barely even covering one yeah. percent of the amount of parties that happen every single weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Yeah, well, well, I don't know. We 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 are not getting that here in Sydney. There are parties, but we don't get that type of volume of parties that you guys do. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Yeah, that, I, I'm jealous. I'm jealous because I'm missing out on all these. Hey, <laughs> you 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 never know. I thought that really the party was over there in New York and in, in the tri-state area. Yeah, and then right. I come here and it's like, no, I don't got one city here. I got fucking five cities yeah. that yeah. I could just easily travel to. And there's so many venues. But it's, it's that. It's the education. They just don't know. But once you're in the market and party planners know you, oh, man, you are you don't need a, a you set up. Yeah. Yeah. market does, yourself anymore. If you do good for a party planner one time, she will keep you on your list and she will keep calling you every time. Oh we have, yeah, uh, yeah, we have that for our photo booth. We have a girl keep us busy with our photo booth. Do, do they hire you, or do they just a percentage of what they what you go in for, or how does that work with them? Well, for I, me, I give her what I want, the price that I want. Wholesale. And she she pays to me, so as long as I get that, I don't care if she upcharges. The lady, yep. as as I get what I ask for. Yeah, wholesale and retail. You do that with party planners. You give them a slightly better price, so they can. Or some some party planners are like, just give it to me straight. How much you want on it, and they will always bump it up anyways. Because if they got those type of clients, yeah, then they can afford it. Yeah, and yeah. and and that's the clientele that you want to keep going. Yeah, I, I noticed um OG Magu active. He does a lot of events. He he always busy with parties. He do celebrity parties. Mm-hmm. He got a lot of celebrity parties. Man, See? I wish I was there. 
And there's there's some people that land in that celebrity circle, and somehow they're always in celebrity parties, right? Surrounded by yeah. celebrities, and that's yeah. that's cool. And then other people that end up in in just art shows, and they, that's all they do. And it does each each thing is like its own industry, its own world, its own set. Of, and you can make money depending on which way you go. Yeah, yeah, your art can still make you money to whichever well, direction good, you go. That's a good thing for airbrushing, I guess. Like it keeps the mm -hmm. uh, airbrush artist functioning and you know keep painting. You know, like uh -huh. other than working a regular shop, staying in one stagnant yeah. in one area, you can float around, do extra work. Yeah, and bring some extra income. Yeah, yeah. That, that's what I started doing. I kind of gave up on parties for a while, but now. Uh huh. Yeah, my thing has always been uh, like because I got thrown into bar mitzvahs right off the bat, I was able to to develop that love for it. So now, whenever I work in a in a store, now I get claustrophobic because oh, yeah. it's like no, I, I want to go to the parties. It, it's it's a lifestyle, you know. You end up now uh, always going to different venues, eating different food, meeting different people. Is the music is more live. And you know, so it's always focus. good for the, the, the word of mouth too. So if you do good, and somebody oh, oh yeah, hard, yeah, it keeps yeah. Going. That can it's make you and destroy it's you. Like you're the entertainer. That's your mini concert. Yeah, you're, yes. You find your your followers <laughs> with some airbrush goods. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, man. It's it's... Also, you can uh, you'll make more money doing a party than sitting in a shop all day. Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So, so it's that's, easier to get out and and make still make more money at parties. Yeah, that's that's how. That's what I, said, I gotta get back in. Well, that's that's how we used to do it over there in New York. We had we had the store in Times Square, uh, Monday through Friday or Monday through Thursday, and then the assistant will still open up shop, but of course the, the customers know that. So we'll be working Monday through Friday. We, we had a schedule there at the store, and then Friday, Saturday, and sometimes Sunday we'll be working events. And back at the store on Monday. So yeah. we'll keep it busy like that. So you know, your art can definitely continue. I'm I'm trying to get to that point where I can let go of my nine to five. But my nine to five is also airbrushing now for for a company. So it's like I'm in a happy medium. Oh, you do those uh those big animals. You right? do those uh entertainment rides and all those yeah, it's, uh, water slides, water slides, water fountains for for big. Uh, they told me not to say it, but I'm gonna say it because it's no, amazing. No, 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 I, 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 all I can say is uh, theme parks um, all around the world, even the most famous ones. Uh, there's even small ones here like sequariums and uh, and museums. Yeah. There's always like water features, anything. Uh, your local parks have a, a splash pad, right, that is open to the public. That has like some squiggly things you're shooting water off of them. We paint those there. We make them from scratch. Or wow. if, you, if you check on my page, yeah, the, the name of them is uh, the water... Uh, Water Odyssey or fountain people, and they make all these beautiful, huge pieces that all have water features that shoot water out of somewhere. So I all that is airbrush. I thought you were um, just touching them up. Like, I, I thought they were already built and you just refinished no. them. Like, they actually make them. Maybe, maybe one day we could do a live feed and I could walk through the shop. They allow me, because they always bring in people to just look. Yeah. yeah, and I could show you the process when it goes from a giant block of of styrofoam, like right. this block is maybe eight nine feet tall, yeah. and they have a a, a robot six axe machine that cuts it, and then yeah. they have people smoothing like it out. CNC machine. Then they put yeah, like a CNC, but this is a six six axis robot with a drill and begins carving it. Uh, and then they put the water features, the piping, and then they spray it with a uh, with a polymer. It's a aqua aqua shield that protects it from UV and water resistant. But it's still foam inside. It's just a big foam piece. Yeah. yeah. And then we put the color on top, and 
It makes it are look you, like a giant dolphin. Or... Are you using Wicked on that or using automotive paints? Or... That is uh, uh, urethanes. Urethane, Auto like automotive urethanes and yeah. then you're clearing over the top. Yeah, yeah. Do you, are you clearing the top or you, is there a special painter that clears the artwork over the top? Uh, like enamel or something. Like enamel, you don't it, have to. It is, it, yeah, they're all, they're all polymers. So we use what, what's called a 2500. Is uh, that's all I know from it? It's called twenty five hundred. It's a part A and part B, with, uh, so it gets really hard, really transparent, and we add two coats on top of that, so it'll make it even right. last even longer. But what what I'm trying to say is, are you are you are you clearing it yourself, John, or is yeah. someone else doing it? No, no, I so do you're, that you're from beginning finish. to the end. Yep. Wow, yep. good on you, man. Good on you. I, I, I learned all that there. Yeah, with a big spray gun. So I don't have one here. But yeah, I learned Sorry. all of that. And in which you can turn into a pencil stream. So when a yeah. piece is so big, yeah, I can still do detail with the big gun. And oh, still, wow. just like now, the thing what they called me is that I was a, uh, because I had a, a Facebook ad. That I was doing T-shirts, and they wanted somebody with speed. So, uh, the all the artists that's there, he's like hire a T-shirt artist because they're known for speed, and that's what this production company wants is speed. Oh, so man. now I can include the bar mitzvah speed of making shirts and stuff into this massive pieces, and I can knock out a giant tiger or or an octopus, which I just did recently. I haven't posted the video. Uh, and I do that in three hours. Yeah, but you also got to have a little bit of talent. You just don't have the speed. You got to have a little yeah. bit of talent. Yeah. Of talent. Like, yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So yeah. So keep up quality and quantity up there. Yeah. yeah. So how do you? How do y'all promote? Like for instance, like how do you promote? And how do you promote where y'all get ready to have an event for people to know to come out there? Mm -hmm. I don't. So how are you going to hit? Or do you, how do you research for knowing that as a party or a, a place for you to go sit up at? How do you know? Oh, how do you find it? like, uh, like for him? Party planning would do that. No, yeah. Party yeah. Yeah. Party yeah. Planning, uh, organize all that for you. you just they'll have call you. Uh, spend some money in marketing. Uh, you need some SEO, some search engine optimizations. Uh, some companies, you know, you can pay and they'll do it for you uh, to do a, a good quality marketing uh, campaign for you, uh, which will will show to any customer that is looking within like a 50 mile radius. So anybody here in San Antonio, whenever they put airbrush, I'm one of the first ones that come up. Okay. You know, when you go to Houston, you put airbrush. I don't come up over there. You get airbrush. Right? Brothers come up. So over there. that the uh, the algorithm would also take care of that. Google takes it. That's why they're so big. Uh, but also with all the events that you're saying, like for me, if I want to find a softball tournament, a baseball tournament, maybe your nearest uh, festival or something coming up. Uh, you could definitely Google your town, uh, in your city. Uh, we'll post up their calendars. Uh, there's always a lot of Facebook groups that will yeah. show, you know, local events coming up this weekend, next weekend. Uh, luckily for me, uh, they've been hitting me up because now word is spreading. So on July 15, I'm going to be in a low rider show that's called Summer Nights here in San Antonio. It's is like from 5 p.m. to 12 o'clock at night. So it's gonna be a lot of cars, a lot of culture, a lot of raza, you know, from California. Yeah. You know, tacos. showing. What's that? A lot of tacos. A lot of tacos. <laughs> There's a lot of food vendors. Yeah. They have no food oh, they're truck. big. The party I did, uh, hey. They had a truck out there. There's like, no, hey, they're no joke. The, <laughs> they are amazing. They get really creative with it. Cause they're no longer just a regular old taco now. Now they they get they get crazy. Yeah, well that's that's what's big at the moment here. All these uh -huh. food vans and food trucks are starting. Yeah. Yes. To get uh -huh. Burgers and all that sort of thing. Yes, yes, everything to go. So, so they called me. The car show, when you go to the car show, are you gonna uh -huh. offer what kind of designs do you think you want to offer? So there, I want to keep the same mentality of of 
time equals money. So I'm not going to sit there because most likely they're going to want, hey, can you pay my car or my shirt? There it is. You know, can you about. can you pay me like this? I'm like, I'm next to my car. No, but you can place the order and that will be shipped out to you in three yeah. or four weeks or whatever. Right here yeah. for the day, I'm going to pop on my display and let them pick from one to 12. This is for, to add quick stuff. If you have a, a quick logo that I can tell that it is simple, then yes, sure, I'll do it right here on the spot. But other than that, think about how much time are you really going to spend on this? Yeah. And is it going to be worth that $20 that, that you're doing? If it, it's going to take you more than five minutes, you, you're already over your budget. But if you you're know. slow, if you're, you're slow, sometimes I will, if, when I used to do parties most, if I'm slow, I would do a design to try to get some attention. Like you said earlier, you, you uh -huh. add extra stuff to your designs to get the attention of people to come over to, to, uh -huh. to see you. So if you ain't doing anything, you might as well get up and paint something different. It's now, no with other airbrush artists, I, ha I have another airbrush artist that, that, that he does hats, but he has never done like bar mitzvahs or sweet sixteens or anything like that. So he's not quick with his handwriting. Mm -hmm. So he does then pre-made hats okay. that he at least only have to add a name to it or something like that. So for someone that is not as fast, but you want to make faster money, then spend your time, yes, on making pre-made stuff. Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe a lot of stencil work, yeah, where where your money can fly faster, and that is yeah. the goal. More money per hour, per minute, you know, you end up making that. So, yeah, so for those events, local out there, stick to my board. If you want something more custom than this, then we'll talk, uh, you know, on the side or, or place a custom order for delivery. Today, I'm just doing quick stuff, cheap, so that way everybody can leave happy with something. Yeah. yeah. You know? I did a party where I was a Ninja Turtle. So I took the hats and I pre-printed all the different, four different Ninja Turtles on different hats. You know, some people want blue, some people want the red one or orange one, whatever it is. And mm -hmm. you just have to add a name. So I have pre-did hat for a party. Just so all that, like Eric, all you got to do is add the name to it. And then mm -hmm. you're done with it. Uh, Eddie is asking, how do you get the ball rolling with sales? Um, do you guys have anything on there? Well, sell, how, how do you get the ball? Get the ball? I guess Usually so. the, cus the customer will get the ball rolling. They'll come up to you and ask you what you want, what they want, and they'll, they'll buy it there and then. Now, that's, that's live events. Yeah. But if you have like an online store or an actual physical store, how will you get the ball rolling with sales? I would say Usually just keep posting your stuff. Yeah. I have um, flyers that I hand out at events. Uh -huh. Promote yourself. I mean, yeah. you know, tell them to tag you in into whatever social media you have. Like if you're doing yeah. an event, yeah. say, uh -huh. hey, let me take a photo of you and I'll put you up on my, on my um, social media page. But all you have mm -hmm. to do is like or share my page. Yeah. yeah. So you're getting more people to like your page as well as yeah. people, a wider variety of people looking into your social media area. Yeah, a a exposure, exposure. You need to put yourself out there. You want yeah, you more sales really to be coming in? This is what I was told when I was first uh, coming up uh, doing uh, tournaments. And is if the item is not on the table, the customer doesn't know you're selling it. So the same thing goes with you. If you're not putting yourself out there, customers, like we said before, they don't know that we actually still doing this. Yeah. Some people are like, "Are you? Is airbrush is still in the thing?" It's I've been asked thing? that. Is that real? Yeah, it's like I thought. I thought it was forgotten. I thought it was a thing of the past. It's like, no, it's because they don't know that you're out there. So whenever you get a chance, a free weekend, to get a small event, it doesn't matter the size of it. Go put yourself out there. Somebody's gonna take a picture. Somebody's gonna tag you. Word of mouth now is gonna start happening. Yeah. And I, I, post, post, post. I make sure whenever I do an event or any anything, if I do a local flea market or or a birthday party, I make sure I take the photo of that customer wearing the hat and uh -huh. I post them up on my social media because it there shows other people that like your page. Hey, this uh -huh. guy's doing good. Look at all these customers yeah. wearing these these hats so yeah that's how i get a lot of my business through that yeah. as well yeah there we go see oh i didn't know you do this at events i thought you only did it of of your house of your store like no put yourself out there i do that sometimes with my wife is like wait 
this weekend, I don't have an event. Uh, there's nobody's birthday. There's not a holiday. Let's look up, and then we go to Facebook and we Google, you know, any local events, any tournaments coming up. And like, you know what? Boom! Let's let's book this one. You know, sometimes they do a, yeah. a fee, fifty bucks, a hundred bucks to set up. Hey, but again, it's that exposure. That's how you keep them. So you're not really making no money until you make that first. Until you make your money back, and after that, everything is gravy. I've done a lot of tournaments. Like, tournament yeah. baseball tournaments are turning into that now. It used to be twenty uh, percent or fifteen percent at the end of the night. Now it's like, uh, oh yeah, you pay a flat fee, and then you can set up ten by ten, and you can whatever you make, you make. Right? Yeah, yeah. There's some people that do percentages. There's some people that say, no, just come through, set up is yours. You know, they just want to make their event bigger by having more. So sometimes you get lucky with some of those that you get a free event. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just did a wedding showcase this past weekend, and. You know, it was a, only 150 people, 150 uh, brides went through. But it's still, shoot, just one or two events that might come out of there is good enough. It was a free event, yes. Yeah. Everything everything is a gamble. I, I always say everything is a gamble. You, If you don't put it out there or try it, it ain't going to happen. You, just have to, you have to put it yourself out there. Yeah. Now, Ed, uh, Eddie's asking, how do you deal with intimidating thugs that take no for an answer? I have that issue a lot. That take no when you're telling them what, you know. Yeah. What are they? What are they taking no for? Now, now thugs. Uh, we get a lot that. of game bangers. <laughs> you get a lot of game bangers wanting to do. Their oh, hands they take no for an answer. Oh yeah, yeah. Like their oh, flag. They want to put the crib or or blood. I turn them down all the time. I say, look, I I can put your color, but I'm not gonna do all that extra writing and crossing uh -huh. out. Seeds yeah. Or no, is. no, no. Because then, then you're gonna be that guy, that yeah. guy that will, and then all their friends are gonna start coming in, and now, now oh. you're in that market. Yeah. So yeah, if we, you don't want that type of client, you have yeah. the right to to decline. Yeah, gang related stuff. Yeah. yeah we didn't have uh, that issue. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, unfortunately. Yeah, we didn't have like that sort of. Uh, we yeah. do here in Texas, say, but we don't have that sort of crime, sort yeah. of gangs. I mean, if they if they are gangs, they probably wouldn't come and get airbrush stuff anyway here. But yeah. we don't. We well, don't you know, when, have... when when one of their members died, they come in and they wore shirts. Everybody wore shirts. No, I I I put where well, I won't put a gun on the shirt. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 You, know, you come in for an R.I.P. shirt, you know, young dude, and he yeah. got a gun in his hand. But like, he yeah. Yeah. Better picture. Yeah. 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 I had no, to tell you... mom that. That's what's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. No. Un unfortunately, you as a as a store owner, because now you're selling a product, you yeah. might want to extend your ground and set up your rules. It is your store, your rules, and you have the right to uh, decline service. Uh, but you, you can tell them, "I'm sorry, but I do not do that kind of work." Yeah. I, uh, I, I, I'll just say I don't promote that sort of. Is yeah. That, no. But to, if you're out there, on. they they find you. You know, yeah. so it's it's just one of them things that yeah you, maybe, you're just gonna maybe have you to can, um, refer them to someone else like have someone at local that might do that sort of work instead of them coming to you uh -huh. or yeah. or the initials yeah like NBC which means yeah they're they're gang or something like that um I I usually sometimes I uh. See, I always like to put my signature on stuff that I'm proud of. I don't know if yeah. you guys do this too, right? But there's there's some stuff that is like, mm, I don't want my name, you know, to come back to me. So one, I'm not going to post no pictures. Do not tag me on this. I'm not putting my name on yeah. it either. Yeah. They don't know where it came from, you know. Or or I, I like to find another airbrush artist that's in town maybe. Uh, and maybe he will take those type of orders. So maybe you want to have a plan B, like okay, I'm a, I will just give this shirt to this other guy, and he'll take care of you. All right. Right now, I'm I'm a little busy. I have a lot of orders going on, so I just can't. But my guy over here can help you out. You know, do yeah, something yeah. like that. So it's always gonna be somebody. If you don't do it, it's always gonna be somebody else that's gonna do it. Yeah. Or somebody always have that. Oh, I have a cousin that could do this for ten dollars, man. Why you charge so much? Well, why you coming up here like, for? Go see your cousin. <laughs> yeah. And I, like, I, oh, I used to so get I'm that grumpy. a lot. I'm grumpy now, so it's like, nah, dude, I ain't doing that. Yeah. 
Go to them. If you already know somebody who do. Uh -huh. you're, you're, you're getting ready to retire, Ralph. Yeah, I got three <laughs> more years, bro, and I'm done. Never. You can never retire from the same. No, no, you just you're just gonna stop paying taxes, but you're gonna keep airbrushing. I know that. <laughs> yeah, that's a possibility right there. <laughs> hey, that's another thing, you know, a lot of artists don't know anything about the taxes part of it. You know? That's so, that's, that's good knowledge to spread, yes. Bit, you know, because they don't everybody don't really tell you the real business of it, you know, it's it's, uh -huh. it's a lot. Yeah. yeah. Uh if if you're gonna start doing like events uh taking airbrushing more serious taking to the next level i recommend to those people watching save your receipts uh whether it's for gas it's for food that day you had an event save it for food hey Eddie. hey what's up everybody i've been bombarding you guys with a bunch of questions good good, <laughs> good it's though. just it's just getting longer we just lost a few people by now yeah. i see right <laughs> Yeah, no, I had a bunch of questions. We almost yeah. an hour and 30 minutes. <laughs> That's yeah. cool. We can... You have yeah. a lot of knowledge right here to share. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man. You've been... Go ahead, I, I use the... I, I plug my, my, my jars also. You, you don't, oh, yeah. You don't, you don't clean them. You I know. Them no, I've tried to go back and I just can't. It drives me nuts. Yeah. So, you, but it's like you got to crack them. Yeah, you got to open them all the time because or else they get uh, clogged mm -hmm. up or, or I get back flush. Yeah. It goes, and the paint goes back into the trigger uh -huh. or the lever, oh, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That means that you have a little too much pressure now in the bottle. Oh, okay. Okay. So you have to now release some pressure. That's why I, I crack it open. Yeah. Yeah. Back that's, flow. That's, the, Just the thing. that's the first time I've ever seen that ever happen. Like the way you work it, I, I found that really interesting. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. I I, I, it. It's 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 a lazy way to start off with. <laughs> no, that's, that's a great idea. You know, I try to yeah, create you, an invention on it. Try to, I try to invent a valve that I could just press on it and let the air out. You could put like a little air pump, you know, like yeah. the like the shoes back then that you had that pump yeah. that you could just put oh, right. air into it. Now, yeah. I, another trick that that has helped me out with is that sometimes, you know, when you want to make the speckle uh, effect uh -huh. around things, instead of bouncing off of something hard to make it speckle, yeah, if, right. you put, if you put enough pressure in here, you know, you blow it over there, you lower your, your pressure in your tank, you actually speckle big time. Mm, that's a good tip right there. So yeah. I, I would blow paint everywhere. Paint will go everywhere. Now, recommend it, though. Do not do this at events <laughs> because that speckle will get on the curtains, will get everywhere. Do not set. Yeah. Don't even offer that. Yeah. No. That's that's for your store. Okay. Hey, Drip Darwin, shirts, speckles. I, I like, I like that. Here. Darwin, go ahead. I sent you a link. Log on, bro. Send Darwin a, a link. What's that? The two? Uh, what do you do with that? So this is another way to speckle. Oh, speckle. oh okay. I use a piece so you of put it in there. You put it in there, and you blow, and mm. it keeps it clean. Instead of instead of bouncing it off of something, it makes mm -hmm. it drip. Yeah. It, if you put it, it's a little piece of of hose is uh, cut. Yeah, and Richard, you put it at an angle. Richard, oh, a hose. I I I type or two. Um, you can get a bit of tape. Wrap it around the nozzle, then just sort of pinch it a bit, and then lower uh -huh. the air pressure to the back. You can okay. get a good stipple effect that way as well. But everyone Richard uses, Hernandez yeah. uses a, a pack of paper. Use a peg. Yeah, I use a piece of paper. Yeah, I just keep a little bit of it hollow at the end, and then I'll lower so the air pressure, out. and I'll pump the trigger back. Uh huh. Any does floods it, in there, and then you can throw it away. Is yeah. it a control to good, ladder good. or is it, How's it going? Yeah, it's controlled if you if you get it to the right consistency. Yeah. You, you sometimes you gotta find that sweet spot. That's, that's too, when you too little to too many. Can't to peg, peg the rest of it up on, you use a bit of tape. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So that's oh, different. I, I 
and like I said, I'm like, man, I use a piece of paper and I, I go, but it is messy. And it a business it. card, yeah. Anything you can find that has a hard corner is good right. enough. Yeah. And I'm, I love I'm, your work, mate. I love seeing your work. Thank you very yes, much. Man. Keep, yeah, keep man. it coming. I've keep been, it coming. I've those portraits you're doing are killer. Thank you, thank you. I've been. Sp I think I spent too much time on them. Nah, man, I love yeah. them. I love them. They're really good. Hey. I just seen John's portrait. He worked on um Celine Dion. Oh man, that Celine little Dion. Detail. Yeah, that's what I was telling him earlier. Oh, yeah, her head is like this big. Yeah, yeah, what paint did you use on that? That looks like that can't be like wicked. Come on, man. Wicked reducer one to one. Ooh, because by right now, what's that? I, I like Who are you guys face. talking to? Sorry. Oh, the 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 last Celine Dion shirt that I did. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, because I layered the paint mm. and, and iron with. I need to see it. I haven't seen it. With this tiny oh, yeah, iron. iron. Yeah, I've got I've got one of them. I've got. Is that the now? Little... I have a big one, but this this is the magic. Yeah, that's the that's the little pre cut. Quick. Um, little mini one yeah i've got something no this one this one's from walmart oh, okay wow. yeah you got to the iron no no it's cord yeah yeah but it yeah. sounds no, great i, I pulled my shirt off and put it on the heat press and did do it yeah no i, I have a process of going back and forth back and forth back and forth i have a pillow and uh right. and I've got a question for Ed. how much you charging for those portraits um, I charge, I believe I charge two, like two fifteen. Hey, that, that with the, with the angel wings good. and all that roses and stuff. Yeah, man. That, Darwin, that, that, and even what's the, up? Your script is incredible. <laughs> yeah. Figure, thank you, thank you. Join since uh, everybody else is getting on here. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, man. This one, this, this one, the whole team people. So if anybody else want to get on, let me know. I throw y'all over to. <laughs> I needed Where's a picture Chris? of this. Where's Chris? <laughs> Uh, I think you, you want to get into photo booth, so uh, I guess he's working on researching that. That's good, yeah, man. You buy that thing, you can send people out, make your money quick. Yeah, that's big photo booths. Everybody wants photo booths. Yeah, yeah, it's a that's my little revenue stream right there is photo booths. Definitely, four or five different photo booths in it. You make this much. Yeah, yeah, no, that's that's definitely the next step into the entertainment industry. This is having the multiple streams right there. Yeah. You guys have have to be about hey Ralph. What's up? Ralph, I gotta I gotta get you to create me that um character that you got of me Oh I got with the hat. <laughs> With the no, no, oh, I, I want, I want, oh, I want the one that you done, but I want me on the airbrush like this. Oh, okay, all right, <laughs> I got you. I saw that picture you said you had on a red hat, right? Yeah, yeah, do me one like that, but I want my hand holding an airbrush. <laughs> I got you. I, I, and I I'll, I'll paint you a. Oh, man, I'll paint you a hat in return. <laughs> hey, so Darwin. They had about party, party Darwin. If, if, Ergen, if you're giving yeah. out hats, I want a hat too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the cool, right? <laughs> I put it in my yeah. media room. Yeah. So, Adara, you got anything you want to add about party? Oh, you guys covered a lot of stuff, man. You guys yeah. covered, yeah. I mean, if you guys got questions, I'll, I'll be happy to answer. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I haven't met Darwin. Uh, is it Darwin? Yeah, Darwin. Yes, that's the guy right I there. I he, I'm on my phone and I can't read the text. It's so small. He's, so. he's he's in charge of the Houston and Texas party industry. That's yeah, a, that's the CEO know. right there. I, that's the CEO. I see your work all the time. It's really really good, man. Really impressed. Oh, appreciate it. Thank you, man. If I ever I remember to Texas, I'll come and paint with you guys. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Send my. Let that's me give yeah. it a I gotta clean my top, bro. My top. Bro. I remember following Darwin like like what 10 15 years ago I don't know how long ago but it was they were working in a small kiosk yeah they used to ask yeah, him a yeah. bunch of questions him and his brother yeah we were oh, there for a long the, time uh, the marquee that was the, uh, yeah. the, the marquee right yeah 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 we were there for a long time we outgrew it and I moved into a bigger spot we're out growing this one too but yeah Nice. Awesome. Yeah, I only been over there once to the shop over there. I just, 
I just realized I spelled my name wrong. Uh oh, you spelled it wrong. <laughs> yeah, my yeah, surname. All right, Yada. <laughs> what? Yeah, fat fingers. What time did I have today? I got eight thirty. What time did I have eight, today? Eight thirty p.m. Six thirty-two right here. Okay, it's still <laughs> early. Yeah, we got We're two Texas. We're on eleven thirty. We got three Texas, Australia, and California. And what part of California are you in? I'm in Bakersfield, California. Okay. Craig, okay. Craig Fraser used to live here, but he moved. Uh, that was a big. That was a big highlight. Are you guys, um, can you guys see me? I'm gonna be Next time I'm in Cali, I'll, I'll make sure to swing by your your place, Ed. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome, man. Yeah, me yeah. too, Ed. I'll be over there. Oh, that'd be cool. We've, we've got a you, already know I, yeah. you already know I already tell you that all the time I'm coming. <laughs> right? Listen, the, the, the best way for you, Jurgen, for you to come over here, well, like I, like if I like to travel, I like to know I'm going there for work. So I would say book yourself the next Comic-Con in Cali. So that way you can come in, okay. you both can maybe airbrush so the, together. The, 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 yeah, the Comic Con here is not connected to the one in America. Like it's the oh, same it's... sort of thing, but oh, but you can Google it. Actually, I have heard yeah, of other Oz artists Comic-Con. in New York doing the Comic Con, but you have to book it like a year in advance because that thing gets quickly sold out already. As soon as the tickets go on sale for the following year, they're already sold out. Wow. Yeah. I bought the Bike Coast Airbrush too. Uh, yeah. Cool. cool. The, yeah, um, I have done. Uh, so, do you prepay for your event when you go to Comic Con, and and do they set out prices or whatever? In mm-hmm. in Australia, yeah, they. Uh, it's already. Uh, yeah, you pay months in advance, like you pay three months before. Uh-huh. It's pretty dear. It's like twenty two hundred for the two days. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you, uh, but you're gonna make it yeah. back hopefully in the second day. Then, then you're you now do, in the positive. I do three in different states of Australia. Oh, so you're not paying for one event, you're paying for like three events? Yeah, I mean, each event is different, but yeah, each event obviously you gotta pay that same amount. Plus, I gotta pay for power because I need power to paint this. So that's another. Oh, couple okay. Of and then I've got to pay for my flights there, my accommodation, and the staff uh-huh. that come and help me. So yeah. it, it, it gets expensive, but that's why, I mean, I'm paying a lot of hassle yeah. beforehand. Yeah, right? a, a lot of good budgeting pay. there. Ergen, do you pay by yourself? Yeah, you, or, or are you paying with, with the team over there? It's all free plan. Then again, uh, uh, do you, do you uh, paint by yourself over there, or do you have a team? I, I paint by myself. Yeah. Okay. Or well, one man band. Yeah. I, I saw somebody out in I, Australia I, I, that had like I, a similar I, I, style I, 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 to you. He um ended up getting another job. So. It probably was a copycat, Darwin. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I didn't know if he was like taking somebody under his wing or something. No, but I do remember that there was some other events that that. Here and there, you will take a second artist to help you out, no? Yeah. I have another artist, but um, he, obviously, the industry is not as big as what it, what you might think it is here in Australia. Uh-huh. So there's not many people that will take an airbrush job as a full-time career. I might do it as a sidekick. So, And the artist that I had working with me, he, during COVID, obviously had to get another job to keep himself afloat. So now he's got a full time job painting, um, working at his mum's restaurant. Uh, yeah, he, he, he it happens. So he's never really available for to paint at the events that I do now because he's always working during the day. He won't he won't take that weekend off because he's that's his time off. I guess. True that the pandemic, the pandemic definitely kicked some people into airbrushing or out of airbrushing. Yeah. For me, it kicked yeah, so, me back in. But it didn't kick him out. It just, yeah, his time slot doesn't work with my time slot these days. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, no, it, it was like the, the pandemic. Uh, I was in the oil field 
when the pandemic happened. So since my hours went down, I didn't make extra money. So I figured, oh, let me start taking orders online to make a little bit of extra money that I was missing out at work. And then that brought me back into, okay, this is why I love airbrushing. And I kept on going with it again. But I was technically retired for three years. Oh wow! Until I don't think the, I, I, I ever retired though. From a lot of people stop, or they either go to tattoos, uh-huh. or they go back to airbrush and shirt. Well, what was happening with me is that I was in the oil field, so I was making good money. I had paid off my car, you know. So I figured, you no know, need to try to juggle two jobs. I'm fine. I'm happy. I'm happy where I'm at. You know, and and they were making me supervisor, and I, I keep getting raises at work. So I was like, I was in a good place. But then, because I needed yeah. that extra money, it brought me back in, and I'm like, no, you know what? This is th- this is where I want to be. Yeah, yeah, it's good easy money. If, if sometimes it is. It's a headache sometimes, but it's good easy money. Yeah, yeah. Now you just keep going, doing what you love. Look at dog with the logo line, in the background. <laughs> what? I said, look at Doyle with a logo in the background. Yeah. Right, 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 right there, right. free advertising. Yeah. <laughs> Airbrushbrothers.com. Yeah, brand yeah. it, man. We got to keep the branding. Yeah. There we go, so, yeah. I mean, everybody's on TikTok, or do y'all promote more on TikTok, or what? Or no, I, I mean, um, I'm not like a social media person. I don't like social media, but I do it because I have to. Says the person uh, with 10 million views. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we, we got quite a bit of followers on, on TikTok. My wife used to tell me to post more, so I, I do it because she can ask me about it. But yeah, okay. yeah I, don't really, I don't really like going on there. But yeah, She's I mean, your we'll social post- media manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, I, I, yeah. Can't get past, I can't get a thousand followers. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I yeah, we, we plateau. Yeah, I'm at 280. Yeah. My, my, my what? page got hacked last year, so I lost all my followers, oh, no. all my social oh. media. So oh, I've had no. to restart, but it's never the same. Like all the yeah. eight years I had to invest, invested, and I had like yeah. six k followers. Now I've got like four hundred people. Dang. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah TikTok for us has been pretty good. It's been, I think we're like at three hundred thousand or something on TikTok. Oh, wow. Instagram is where where we're struggling. We're like uh, send, 11k send or something. Some of your followers down my way. But I, I'll take a couple of them too. Shit, I'll yeah. run. Pass it yeah, on to it's me, you guys. Don't be taking. Oh, no, no, no. We we have like a good problem, right? It's like a good and bad problem because every time yeah. I post a video, we always get like a bunch of orders, and then we can't uh-huh. fulfill them, and then we can't like we just get behind and stuff. So I was like, all right, I gotta kind of like structure like how we post and stuff. Well, send, yeah. send so them only Australia, post when you need orders. Them, yeah, yeah, like, we'll post when we need orders. Was that are you? How, how many workers do you have uh, with you, Darwin? Uh, I got two full-time artists, me, and then I have two assistants, and then my wife that handles our other. Uh, like our Etsy account. Yeah. And um, so, have any of them and, been on Ralph's pod, podcast? Uh, no. The, Ralph, there you go. you got another few artists. I'm trying. There, buddy. I said I was going to do a, a, a bunch of Texas artists. I was going to get out there and try to grab a bunch of Texas artists, but uh, I, I, he's, I, he's going I felt, around. I felt like I was uh, oversaturating the internet for, for about two weeks. So I was like, I'm going to cut it off. I'm like, I don't really post that much anymore. Yeah. But I said, okay, I'm just start posting just to uh, the podcast site and YouTube. And see I, what I, think th- I think this, I don't know if you're able to like record this and put this on YouTube too, but I think this is a good idea. So just kind of, yeah. have to, you know, just chime in and answer questions and kind of go back and forth. Yeah. And stuff. Instead yeah. of you kind of having to take all that on and, and like come up with questions yourself because that takes a lot of time, you know. Tell me about it. Yeah. Behind the scenes is crazy, man. Behind the yeah. scenes, you got to call and call and text and text and text. I try to message, like, you know, yeah, reach out. Yeah, but then they, they change their mind at the last. I don't know what anybody's scared of. It's just talking. And I don't yeah. even like people. I, I, don't <laughs> like people. I, don't like people. We're, I think we're all introverts in here, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Me, yeah, especially. I, but I you know, like I, uh-huh. I I just like to paint in my own space. I, I hate being on camera, but um, yeah. when I paint, I'll make sure I'm in the zone. You know, I get in the yeah. really good yeah, zone. Yeah, me too. That I feel I've, I've, I've even thought about doing like tutorial videos, which that's funny because just 30 minutes before we started this 
this uh, chat. Yeah. Uh, somebody just hit me. Hey, do you have tutorials? I was yeah, like, I, 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 I do I, not. I get that a lot. Everyone, everyone asks me, hey, man, pay, post some videos. And I'm just camera shy, I guess. I, I, yeah. I, I hate being on camera, but I yeah. somehow maybe I, maybe I should do some videos. See, yeah, I've well, thought about it. But, but I think, I don't know if you guys are the same, but when you guys find another airbrush artist like this, now yeah. you want to now you get really social because you're like well, you right. have something in common with this person exactly well, John, that's, the, that's exactly. how that's how i found out about you because 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 of kelly's podcast i was like oh shoot you're you're in texas let me reach uh -huh. out to you because i need another artist for some of these events yeah yeah, yeah. That, that's how i yeah. found out but i thought you were like in yeah, new jersey or something still i, I yeah he was. i was and again <laughs> yeah, i just yeah. i disappeared for a little bit yeah but just put yourself out there man now, That's how why long I'm. Have you been uh -huh. brushing for Darwin? What was that? How long have you been painting for? Uh, about eighteen years. And oh, wow. full time is it? Is it? Is this your full time gig? Full time airbrushing? Yeah, yeah, yeah full time. That's awesome. And now, um, do you have a fixed location as well as doing the events as well, or? Yeah, so we have a brick and mortar store right off the freeway, and then we do the events on stuff you know throughout the week. And then we have our, our uh, online store that we do too. Yeah. So we're only open Monday through Friday. We're closed Saturday, Sundays. Wow. For events. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So the weekend you do the events. Yeah. 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 We got to the point where we were just closing every Saturday and we kept putting like, you know, like signs on the doors like, hey, sorry, we're closed today. Sorry, we're closed today. And then people would start getting mad. I was like, all right. So you, so you can't, start. you can't have like a salesperson just to work the weekend. No, because oh, we, use them, we use them for like assistance and stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. So sometimes we have you know four or five events on a weekend, so we're we're spread out everywhere. I, I I can't believe the amount of the events you guys have just on a weekend. Like, I, I'm just seeing everyone doing events. I'm, I'm going, man. Like, um, where's that market here in Australia? Like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. Look, I'm, if I'm Darwin sure. can cover like what seven events. Yeah, Six but we don't have that. Cover. Like, and that's just Darwin. That Ours, I mean, I, I get the big royal shows, but they're like 12-day events. They're yeah, like I know, I know, um, I know Haley at, at Airbrush Co. I know she does like a lot of marketing and stuff like that. That's how she kind of stays busy. Yeah, yeah. She's uh -huh. she, well, I speak to them through social media, but I know Alana. That's her other business partner. But yeah, yeah. I knew yeah. them when they were starting out. They weren't even. On the board, but now they've been doing events these days, but they're in a different state than I. But um, mm. yeah, I, I guess I guess it's got to do with marketing, getting the right people behind you to get into these sort of events. Yeah, and then I know I know some artists that only do corporate. They don't even yeah. do bar mitzvahs or sweet sixteens. They only strictly do corporate. So no, but it, I mean, it's just I, what I the market of, you land on. Who else is um? There's another airbrush mob. I'm trying to think of their name. Um, over there, no, in America. I, oh, um, I well, always there's... see the Instagrams doing events. And just going, Man, oh, there's so there's events. airbrush events in Florida, yeah, there's, there's a, there's there's a yeah, Vegas events, events that, in that's Vegas. Than airbrush. Yeah, airbrush events? With airbrush, airbrush events, Pete. yeah, yeah, yeah. There's Shane with uh, Mr. Hoodbrush over there in Cali, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know Hood Mr. Hood. yeah, I met Hood him. Mr. Hood I yeah. didn't actually physically meet him, but I talked to him when I was in America. Um, yeah, yeah in California, good, there's like four, four or five industry. people out there doing events. Yeah. yeah. Do you, how do you guys go doing no airbrushing, but text the marker work on those bottles? I've been seeing a lot of that. You know, the, the, paint paint the names on the oh, bottles. Yeah, deco, deco yeah, markers. Just a, just a, yeah, just, do you, that's a, do you guys that's touch a, on that? AM or? Styles. She, she does a lot of that stuff. Who does that? Mm -hmm. AM Styles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. AM, yeah. yeah. Do, do you guys not do that as well? Or do you just. Yeah, do yeah, we, 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 we do. We do the, the, you know, the water bottles and phone cases. And we used to do pop sockets and stuff when that was popular. And yeah, yeah, we do all that. Anything stuff. with the surface, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what markers do you use for them? Um. Posca, I use Deco. Like Posca, Posca markers? Or? Yeah, Posca markers were good. Paint markers, there's, yeah, uh, they're thicker yeah, paint. Do they dry face? Uh, you're not, you're, not, you're so, not prepping the surface, are you? Are you just straight? No. So so if you use oil-based markers, 
You okay. don't have to prep the soap. You don't have to prep the surface. You just go straight at it. Uh -huh. It takes a little bit longer to dry, but it lasts yeah. a lot better. If you just use like acrylic mm -hmm. markers, you can start like, chipping it off like really, really easily. It's yeah, a little how, do you, how do you give How do you give an artwork to a customer? Do you tell them like not to hold it for an hour, or what do you do? Like, no, I mean, I mean, it dries like you know five ten minutes or something. So okay, we'll dries it, Yeah, we'll, we'll paint it. We'll set it off to the side when they come back. You know, just you know, somebody will yeah. check them, make sure they're dry. Pick it up at the end of the event. And can I ask you, Darwin, what type of paints do you use? I use. Um, Korea text, but we're switching over to ETAC. So we're, we're starting to sell ETAC paint. Yeah, I, you're going to love ETAC. Okay. Yeah, so, so we can't, I can't deal with Korea text anymore, man. Like, I've wasted hundreds of dollars on, on bottles of uh, Korea text. Are, you, are you talking go, Korea yeah, text go, wicked or are you right, talking Korea text in general? What was that? Are you talking um, like wicked, wicked Korea text or are you talking Korea text, the general line? Uh, create text the general line. I stopped using Wicked like years ago. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. Sometimes with Wicked, I find that if you have a bottle and you leave it a little bit, it gets a little bit clumpy. Like you got to strain it a bit. Do you have yeah. that problem over there? Yeah. I just don't like Wicked. I do. And I'm sorry. Don't... No, Wicked ETAC. ETAC. No, I just use it straight out of the bottle. Uh, I know yeah. that, but sometimes like the fluoro colors, I notice sometimes it can The fluorescent, yeah, bottle, they get clumpy. A little, bit, a little bit clumpy. You have to strain it before I can rebottle it. Yeah, yeah I especially... mean, some, some of them we have to reduce, but I mean, for the mm -hmm. most part, you know, versus Createx or Wicked, I, I mean, I would definitely use it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I like the black only. I, I, but if. Feel like I've been having like it. Feel like it has chunks in it. The black, e the black, black works great, but the white. Uh, I have to reduce that. I I reduce that with. Uh, I do fifty fifty with uh, e tac and Wicked. Yeah. Because yeah. for some reason with the e tac white, I I feel it. Um, it doesn't flow as well as the black does. Like it needs that. I don't know that. Yeah, I've I've paint. heard that from a lot of people that they prefer yeah. the black or white from e tac better. Yeah, and I use. Like I've heard that. If I need to reduce a little bit, I use distilled water. Mm. Mm. I've always gone away from water. Attack and it and it flows really well. Really, oh. you don't get a little yeah. watery. Whatever the bathroom, whatever feel. Water out Just of a little bit of distilled water. It's got to be distilled. Distilled water, okay. I still use aqua. Try that with attack. It yeah. flows so much better. Hey Ed, do do you have a paint that stinks? Paint what? One of your paint bottles or any color that just has a particular, like, strong, nasty smell, maybe. Oh, I can't smell, bro. I, I had the surgery and I, yeah, and, and I asked Kelly, I was like, hey, man, I can't smell. And he's like, I can't smell either. I was like, that's weird. What? Like, that. You guys had yeah. COVID? No, no. Um, I had a, a, a brain tumor a long time ago and they, they took that part off me. Oh, uh, damn. Yeah. Okay. So um yeah, but um I was saying that I, I use aquaphor. You guys don't yeah. use aquaphor? Like black I wish, and I white. Wish we added, yeah. I actually met the owner when he came to Australia, his daughter lives here and he, he supplied me with some, but at that time Mark Rush was had, had the rush paints, so oh. I've got a whole selection of that and I use that and I really liked it, but um other than that I can't get that here. Yeah. Mm. Well, I think e ETAC so far e now. ETAC so. e works well and creates transparency. They're, that's all I need, really. I mean, to get yeah. me through what I need to do. Tyrell says, uh, most painters can smell. <laughs> uh, I, I can smell. I can smell. So, I, I smell them funky paints sometimes. <laughs> right, Darwin? I, I, I don't know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that, that's why, that's another reason why I stopped like using Creatics. Yeah. Do you like the smelling smell text, Darwin? Um, it's okay. It's uh, it's like I, it, it, I feel it's got like a nice smell to it. I don't know. They've either changed the mix. I mean, I, I definitely prefer it than that nasty, you know, <laughs> <laughs> smell that yeah. some of those paints have, like those browns and purples and stuff. And... Yeah. Do you guys do. have you guys ever used the uh, the brand called Decca? No. Decca. No. Decca paints. Like... Yeah. I haven't even heard of it. They yeah, came no. out in the nineties. That was so good. 
Yeah, I um, remember. We ha- I still got bottles of them. I don't. I don't. I sort of keep them for my side jobs. <laughs> oh yeah. They're highly transparent, but they blend well in color. But they flow so mm. nice. So you, you I have pre-shake seen. your bottles every time? Do they, all y'all shake y'all pre-shake your bottles? Yeah, that's why they even put a mixer ball to mix because the 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 reducer in it or the the mineral sometimes they they separate yeah. they naturally separate. So you yeah. always shake. I usually shake it with the airbrush like this. Yeah, you cover too, the hole. You you know, cover the it. hole and just give it a little shake. Oh, yeah. Don't be scared of that. It's hose. It's hose. Great part is that we don't have to block up anything. We could just shake. Yeah. We don't have to worry about spilling paint. I can't do that. True, true. If you ever been yeah. in my shop? You look at the seal. I'm telling you, it's, it's painted all kinds of colors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, There's don't, always don't questions you want to ask, but you can't, you can't think of questions when we're talking live. Like, there's so many things I want to ask, and I just can't think of what I want to ask about. You know, like, it'll be after I finish it. Guys, okay, I go, hey, man, why didn't I ask him about this question? And right? It's not popping up in my head at the moment. That's how yeah. I am right now. I was like, I'm having a hard time speaking. <laughs> I'm just yeah, blanking it's out. It's, it's all right. We'll, we'll just have to, you know, do this another time. Yeah. Yeah. I think we'll yeah, do it again. I'll do a platform to hold up for ten people. The other one only hold five, but this one will hold ten. So yeah. everybody will gather up uh, in next week or so. Everybody grab something from their shop, or just a cool technique that you that you think that might help somebody else. Like me, my cool. thing was this uh, this shooter yeah. Yeah. that I think is a game changer. That eraser. That, this is an cool. airbrush eraser. I, I just used that today. Yeah. I've yeah. never seen that thing ever. Right. I nice have that too. Yeah. That Richard thing. Hernandez told me about it. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, You're going to have to uh, message me direct, um, John, about that. Yeah. And also, also that, um, what was that? Short, short cuts? What do you call it? The, oh, shortcuts for the case. Make sure you message me their oh, details. Yeah. I want to check them out. Me too. Yes. We, yes. I mean, we don't have that here. I'd, I'd have to probably order that from the US too. But yeah, I want to he, check out he ships everywhere. Yeah. Definitely. That's a cool Yeah. So what do you, clean what, do you guys use to, what do you guys use to hold up your hats when you're painting your hats at events? I use a wig head. Just do you have like a multiple hat set up or do you use a board and clip it on the on the back of a board or I, I oh, paint right, right at the top. I don't have yeah, a so I, I have like the easel and then I have my uh, my hat and I just clip the edge of the hat and it holds it. Yeah. yeah. I use a foam I use a foam head that I stick onto a, like uh you know those hair salon holders that sort of tightens up and uh-huh. clips onto the table and then you can rotate the hat around. Or I use yeah. a mic stand if I'm if when I used to paint standing up, I used to use a microphone stand to stick the foam head on top. So yeah. I can move around the hat if I need to go on different angles. What what I used to do is on the like top to of my like different things. Yeah. Yeah. I just I, I just uh, since I always keep a dirty shirt with me, I kind of yeah. roll it up and I put it on the top of my easel. And then right. you can slap on a hat right on it. And it's, should, it's just a maybe rolled up Maybe you should invest hat. in a little foam head. Um, I don't know. I've never gotten into into the head because now there's extra stuff to carry. And yeah, now w- where am I going to clip it to? I don't have a table. I have a table. So I know I other a, artists. I have a stand that I use. Do you guys I get it? To a lazy suit. I have a, a, a pipe stuck to a lazy Susan, that way you can rotate or whatever you're doing on. I use it for my yeah. baseball hit with students. I, I do quite a bit of baseball hit with students. For studios, yeah, I would say so. But for for parties, I just I just clip it on directly. You can kind of see, I don't know if you can see it right there. You can see the shape of the hat. Yeah. Yeah, so I just clip it here and paint it on directly. So I just keep the clips. Yeah, yeah. Have a, a lot of times we'll, we'll be switching between like shirts and hats. So I use yeah. the same board and the same easel for the shirt and then just take it off, clip it, hat, take off the clip, shirt, and then kind of go back and forth. What do you do about stuff, the like... overspray not getting onto the shirt once you've sprayed one, though? You know, the paint might be wet back on the board. 
Because you're doing that at a fast no, pace, you, you know what I mean? Switch. Like, I, yeah, I, no, I switch more from the little one okay, to the big so one. So you did a shirt, you switch, then you got to stick the hat onto that same board. That part's going to be wet. What do you do? No, no. It's, it's, it, well, it, it for, for me, it's it a different get, board. Yeah, we don't use like like a plastic board or something. So yeah. like whenever the paint is on there, it's not wet. Right. Mm. Okay. okay. And yeah, uh, yeah. do you guys do you guys do um, bucket hats? Do you know what bucket hats are? I just I just, order, I just, yeah. I just order I, a bunch of them. How do you um set them up? Bucket hats. Because they're a wicked. in the paint. I use a wicked. Just make a ball with t-shirts or that's how I that's what I do. Or a roll of uh paper towels and then a t-shirt over it and then I seen um what? the girl the girls in Melbourne, um Airbrush Co, they had um they use the pot plant, you know, the plastic pot plants and they turned the the pot plant around and they dumped that over the top. You know the containers that hold plants, uh huh. And yeah. they get the sort of same circumference that goes around, and they, yeah, they the turn upside parts. down and pop the bucket out onto that. That was probably uh -huh. something I've never seen before. Yeah, no, I've, I've never done a party with those bucket hats. I've seen them, I've seen other artists doing them, but I've, I've been never been requested. Yeah, at the maybe moment, trucker hats. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How about uh, bags? You, do you guys do bags? I did want some at the party, but I don't, I don't carry them in my shop. No, no, not tote bags, like backpacks. For school? Um, at the stores. Yeah, these two guys, maybe. Yeah. Uh, what are you no. doing at the... Uh, what are we having at schools? Uh, they're breaking a lot of backpacks in for us right there. They bought it. Yeah, because um, bags have been really good for me at the moment. Like, you, you offer them, like, a hat, a backpack, you know. A little package deal. Yeah, you do, like, a package deal. Ah, get a shirt and a hat. Shirt, yeah. a, a backpack, backpack, a to the yeah, a whole outfit right there, yeah, for back to school. There we go. So, uh, how do y'all feel about uh, about living in a tourist town? Does it affect you, or you think you you're busy, or you can be busier if you were somewhere else? Somewhere else. Oh, what me? What was that? Oh. I didn't hear that. Uh, uh, being in a tourist town. San Antonio is a tourist town where Dunn is yeah. from, so I was actually um, having a problem with getting like customers from San Antonio. Or you just, how does that work for you? No, it, it it worked, especially let's say when I was in Times Square, New York, right? Tourist attraction of the world. Foot traffic. And yeah, lots lots of foot traffic. So you're talking about every single day there's somebody new, but here and there some locals will find us. So yeah, they'll place some orders and they'll just pick it up in a couple of days. But now you have local flow and you have tourist flow. Yeah, I, so, I remember when I was in Times Square, John. Sorry to cut you off. I got when your I picture. Yes, yeah, I, I took I took about twenty or thirty pre-made hats, and um, uh -huh. when I was in Times Square, I took like five each day. That I was I was there four nights, and I yeah. took five five hats, and I was just walking around the local. Yeah, area of Times Square trying to meet artists. And I uh -huh. sent a few airbrush artists and I was swapping my hats with whatever they could give me in return. Uh -huh. Before I, I thought that was pretty cool because I got to meet some, you know, yeah. pretty interesting artists out there. Yeah. There, yeah. There's a lot on the street with the spray can. Yeah. They they spray paint the hats and they use markers to the um, markers, yeah. yeah. To clean it up. They're nice. Back they get clean. They 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 spray paint the background, that, but they use the markers to do all yeah. the artwork on top. Yeah, so now now that foam piece is nice, hard, and solid. So it gives them a nice, hard surface for them to get uh, those lines with those markers. Because or else, I've tried markers directly into the foam, and it just it drags, it dries up. Yeah, it's a mess. You yeah, don't it kind of seals, it seals the foam up, I guess. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, they're they're awesome. Uh, they they kind of hated us because we're more now like <laughs> mainstream, and they're actually one of their main guys uh, came inside and he's like, "Hey, I know how to airbrush. Are you guys hiring?" His name is Sergio, and then Sergio then since he was more taught into the graffiti and markers, so he yeah. didn't have much training with the airbrushing. So we're like, "Well, you have the passion for it." So come through, and we started teaching him how to airbrush more and more. And yeah, now yeah, that guy is fast, and he does it now. Was yeah, it, he was there. I, I think I met him when I was there. He was there in the in the store. I don't know if he was Is there that day. Now? Is he still painting? 
Yeah, yeah. He had like a ponytail. Yeah, yeah, I remember uh, him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So and, um, he started Sam, out there Sam with those guys. Sam, Sam, we, Sam that's the guy. Is, that, are, they, are they still painting over there? Or? Yeah, yeah. Well, Toys R Us in Times Square closed because, of course, they went yeah, out yeah. of business. But now yeah. they're across the river in the uh, Jersey, Mall right? of the Americas. Well, that's right. They opened up a shop there. Did they... Did they shut during COVID or did they open after COVID? I, I think they were open. It's just it was just really, really slow. This is so this is what I've been to talking to them about. Yeah, we weren't allowed to move. We had to stay home. Like we couldn't yeah. get out of the house. Even yeah. if we did, we were copying five thousand dollar fines if we went five kilometers out of our oh, house. Oh yeah. Oh no, no. They'll at least let we you out, but you had to make sure back. you were covered and all that. Oh we are we were only out, uh, allowed out for essentials, and that was it. Yeah. Oh no. I was going to fly up there. Trip. They told us, uh, once you get there, you can only go straight from the airport to your room, stay the three days, and then go back to the airport and leave. That was all you could do. Yeah, that was. Damn. Yeah. I'm yeah, glad no. it's over now. Yeah. Well, yeah. I heard it's coming back a little bit, but I don't know. Hopefully, it'll. Yeah, don't even see that. Like they used to. <laughs> Hey, can I is, ask you, is, is the, you, the new um, flu. That's the new flu. Yeah. Which one's that? No. I don't want yeah. that. One. Don't give me that flu. I don't want none. <laughs> yeah, right. Nobody it's, either, never, man. it's a never ending. Yeah. Terrible, terrible hey, experience. Yeah. I need to ask, I need to ask you guys, what do you guys use to project your image up onto a t-shirt? Like if you had to do a portrait. Like I see you, John. You do those tiny little portraits on the T-shirt. Do you? Are you yeah. projecting them or? Believe it or not, there's an app for that. Now I'll need to do a whole tutorial on how to how to use the app. It's You're called the uh, Da Vinci. Right? Uh, you had asked me oh, yeah. a few weeks back, uh, uh, Ergen, yeah, and yeah. I have sent you the link. I know it's a little yeah, difficult. I, 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 I ended up getting a, um, I bought a projector and um, yeah. Yeah. a little projector, but um, everyone's got different ways of doing things, I guess. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For, for me, it's the app. And the app actually projects and you see, you see your phone, but then you see the, the image oh, yeah, and yeah, you yeah, can I keep drawing it, it out. I, I actually is, tried it. I go, man, that's pretty. That's a tough thing to do, though. You you do gotta get good at it. Yes. Yeah. It, it took me a while to get good, but then you can use it for big, for small. Uh, it, there's so many features on it, not just projecting. You can record off of it too while you're doing yeah. it. It takes a time lapse. It's it's pretty cool. It's so called Da Vinci. Out, so what y'all heard of black shirts? Y'all let out black shirts. Uh, what what do you use to put the image on the shirt? Like I have chalk and a stable pencil, a white stable pencil. That is um, on the shirt. I use a I use a white base and then project it uh -huh. or or print it out on a piece of paper and then uh -huh. use that as a stencil. Uh -huh. I, I remember um, in Vegas they were using one of those sort of like they were actually using a. Um, Hector was using like a marker, like a texter, but when you heat press it, apparently it vanishes. Oh, I, I, it's a highlighter. I have a perfect pink highlighter like that. I thought Gary Watt started that. I, I'm not I sure. Like that. Yeah. that was the first time I ever used uh, I had seen yeah. that. In the, the yeah, in the, in the fabric aisle at Walmart or any fabric store, they sell these markers. Uh, the one that I bought has two sides. One it says invisible ink, and yeah. the other one is like water, water soluble ink, yeah. and yeah. it's like a purple and a blue. Right. But I, I stopped using that because sometimes if you use the wrong one when you're painting, it you can still see like the line through. Oh, so, so, you, so you gotta go a little thick, right? Okay. What but, do you use that one? Uh, so if I'm doing a portrait on a black shirt, I'll sketch it out with an airbrush and all white, and then I'll come back in with a pen um, and project it onto it. An actual, like a, a biro or an ink, an ink pen? Yeah, it's an ink pen, but whenever you heat press it, it disappears. Really? Oh, is, that, is that just a standard ink pen, or is it a special? It's a specific type of ink pen. I don't remember the, the brand, but... 
the the highlighter is too light to see so i like to see like an actual line so i you i like yeah. the pen because it, you see it like you know, like the actual physical pen and wow. it's dark enough to so you can get like real good details and stuff and then when you heat press it even when you're drying it it'll just disappear oh wow uh, so, do you use that on the white t-shirt as well or yeah yeah i'll use it on a white shirt too like if i'm sketching something out or whatever i have to try one of them yeah um, i know the pink highlighter works good too on white shirts but like i said i use a stable pencil or chalk for mine whatever i'm doing yeah yeah okay. well that that technique that i was telling you of layering your paint once once i have the the light skin tone since that paint is so is so flat now you can actually use a regular pencil and do lines and you see it clearly and really sharp oh, wow. yeah with a with a pencil no need no markers I, I like the way you're painting your portraits john you seem to you put like a base color down like a flesh coat then you build your colors on top of that uh-huh yes I, and i went from light to dark like with the one color uh -huh. Whereas you you might like base down like the flesh tone of the uh, the person, then come over with a, a darker flesh tone, then the white highlights over the top yeah, of that. John, John paints his portraits like he's oil painting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so that's how oil painters do it. it. Is that how? Yeah, they... we layer. This is a skin tone, like a peachy. Yeah. And then I just begin to add drops of of uh, a darker brown. And then I have this, whoa, this uh, Wicked Detail Yellow Orchid. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. And this one is a yellowish, a golden. So whenever somebody has a tan, see, because this is too pale and this yeah. is too dark. But then to yeah. give somebody an orangey glow, this is you lightly mist on top of the person and now you tan them. Right. And now he's not so either pale or just brown brown. Now yeah. there's a there's this in between. <laughs> yeah. I, I use I use straight orange. Straight orange? Yeah. Yeah, orange? but then yeah. A, a little too much and then they end up being yeah, too yeah. Orange, you gotta, you gotta be careful. Yeah. 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 So I, for I this one, it, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I used the uh, you, you use you the bloodline from mystery. Yeah, uh -huh. my character, my my portrait ended up looking like characters, so I'm like, ah, I don't want to do it. Yeah, same color process, though, Ralph. Huh? The same color process with your caricatures. You can yeah. use your brown and shoot the orange over the top, give it that glow. But, mm -hmm. but I always want to outline it black. Eyes, yeah. nose, mouth, hairline. I want to do everything in black. Out the, That's the, okay. The, yeah, you you want to keep going, yeah, with that clean, sharp lines. And yeah. that's something I had to get away from. Or sometimes I add it in between. Maybe I'll give a sharp outline to the person. Yeah. Or maybe just a shirt. Mm -hmm. I'll give them sharp lines and only focus on the face. Everything else is going to get... If you look at the last ones that I did with Angel Wings and Halos, everything else looks cartoony. But the person, just right. the face, now I focus on him. Everything well, else well, can get... As soon as you add a sharp line to a portrait, it sort of loses its character like mm -hmm. in a portrait because there's no there's no really hard lines on a uh -huh. person's face other than we're about to get yeah. out for a little while yeah anyway listen guys i'm gonna have to bounce over there but i think we did it now i got things to yeah, do yeah that's it our wives are angry now yeah. we've been on the phone yeah. for too long <laughs> but this this has been fun i um, yes. look forward to the next yeah. one yes, oh, yes, yes sir i didn't speak more yeah, we need, uh, I guess, the next one probably. I got a podcast with, uh, uh, shoot, I can't even call it, Jeff Copeland this week, Thursday. So uh, after that, we're Great, we're all jumping in. Let's go, guys. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. Yeah. Uh, like, for instance, like I said, try to get uh, some people talking about business-wise, like how to get, how really business is, the behind the scenes, like taxes and yeah. all of that stuff. But yeah, I, I'm like I was telling, so I gotta get ready. That's to a good idea, Ralph. Right? I know. I already got right. the stink yeah. guy already. See you guys. Yeah. All right, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all very much. See you guys. See you. I'll, See you guys. I'll See you guys hey, thank you. I'll shoot you guys. No problem. Take okay. You. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. I'll message Bye. you. Yeah. Yes, sir. Bye. See you guys.